So, quick break, around about 10 seconds or maybe even eight. Uh, but it is going to be the grand finals coming up here. Like we said, Fnatic versus Mouse Sports. We saw Fnatic yesterday destroying Roskilde the Ravens, who, of course, have bounced back a little today um, to move through. And Mouse Sports beating SK in a good uh, uh, two mappers there with the first map on overtime, uh, on Inferno being a good overtime. In fact, two overtimes, technically. Um, what What's your opinions of this game? Who's going to be the team that outsteps their opponent? I mean... I know exactly what you're going to say. I, I don't know why I even asked you this because I, I can already tell that the, the answer is going to be that Fnatic looked like machines yesterday and I hope my sports I, have brought I think some, I might surprise brought you some a little spanners bit. to throw them in there. That could be this case. I, I actually think that this is going to be an interesting final from the position that... I think th here's the kind of what throws a little bit of spice into this. I think maybe Fnatic are at most a 70-30 favourite here despite all they've done. Because what I've seen in this tournament so far is Mouse Sports have gotten better and better when it's been required of them. Roman's been gradually growing into his role in the team as we had yeah. kind of expected him to from day one. Meanwhile, for Fnatic, I mean, it's quite possible they might just be that good. They might be that many levels above everyone else. But you know what? I don't think anyone in CS has ever really been that amazing, that, that consistently. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe... The, maybe the factor could end up being that Fnatic haven't been fully tested yet. So, I mean, that might be when we'll see what exactly is this new Fnatic team made of. And I think from what we've seen so far, Mouse Sports could be the team to test them. So, I mean, I'm yeah, I'll side with the Fnatic for obvious reasons. But I think, you know, I don't I don't think you can count Mouse Sports out. And not only that, I think I think it's going to come down. That, I think that coin flip is going to be a huge decider in this game. Well, let's have a look then at the two lineups. And of course, first of all, it will be Mouse Sports, the team that we saw beating SK Gaming yesterday in a uh, thrilling match with uh, a double overtime in the first map. First up is six, Antonio Danilovsky, 19 years from Frankfurt. And up we have Capio, a man who for me was uh, pretty outstanding yesterday, 24 years old and from Berlin. And in the middle we have God B, the man who's uh, Incredible really been calling these, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yesterday as well as kind of calling the strats, he was hitting every single shot as well. Two and threes in a row that made him probably one of the more important players on that team as far as his uh, frags went. And we have Roman, the man who we said slowly but surely got himself uh, fitted and you know, kind of snugly yeah. fit into this mouse sports lineup, and we'll be expecting a lot from him today. And that Dust 2 game pretty much capped that off. Yes, it did. And then on the end is Tixo. 21 years old, also from Berlin. And uh, Tixo was on form. Yeah, like you said, Roman yesterday on uh, Dust2, hitting, uh, I think, around about 35 by the end of the CT half. Um, he was really, really on song. And I'm guessing we're going to be seeing Dust2 here today um, as Mouse Sports map choice as well. Uh, but the thing is, I'm not really sure which way this game's going to go. Like I said earlier, Fnatic were looking like this machine yesterday um, that really maybe couldn't be beaten but I think Mouse Sports the way they've progressed and I don't know maybe learn even the th the, as they've gone through this tournament I think they're going to be the ones that could do it here definitely let's have a look then at who Mouse Sports will be facing and of course it will be Fnatic and that first of all is Threat the uh, new man who played the uh, bomb box position on the upper side in Nuke absolutely to perfection against Ravens yesterday and Forrest who we don't even need to say anything about him. Just say, that's Forrest. He's going to score. Basically had a day off ye yesterday, yeah. even though it was the semi-finals of a huge tournament. So maybe he's nice and rested for this final. We have Khan in the middle, the uh, strat caller. Uh, team captain and Fnatic. And there's going to be a lot on him today with how well God B played yesterday. I think people are going to be looking at that matchup especially. And we have DSN, an EWP player who's playing ramp room on uh, on Nuke yesterday and playing that one also to uh, perfection. He was really a big factor in that 15-0 first half CT score. And then on the, on the end, we have Get Right. He's uh, still got something wrong with his eye. Looked better as a blonde. Yeah, looked better as a blonde. Oh, was that as a blonde or with the blonde behind him? Both. <laughs> <laughs> so that, of course, is Fnatic. And uh, this game should be uh, getting underway here very, very shortly. The guys have actually been uh, waiting around, obviously, while SK and Ravens were playing their matchup. And I think we're pretty much on time here, actually. 
Nah, we're not. What am I talking about? We're not on time, but oh well, we're still going to see both matches anyway. Um, and of course, it will be uh, once again best of three, and it's looking like we'll be having um, Nuke maybe as the first map up uh, matchup. I've not actually uh, got that information from the admins, but that would be a sure Fnatic's map choice. We're pretty sure. Yeah, I'm sure we'll uh, fill us in a little bit later on. Um, so, are you going to call us um, a score line here for the first map on Nuke? Um. I haven't seen anything from Mouse Sports on this map. I'll go ahead and I'll say 16 to 9 for Fnatic. Damn, that's, well, that's what I was going to say. Uh, Nuke oh, Inferno yeah. Tuscan actually will be the uh, three maps that we're going to be playing. Tuscan? Tuscan third of all. That would be a very interesting third map. I think so as well. I mean, we heard Six actually in the interview saying just because we're German doesn't mean we're gods on Tuscan. And uh, when I spoke to Khan, he said, yeah, well, that's probably right. They may not be the uh, strongest team in Tuscan, so that's going to be why they've uh, left that one in there. And a little uh, miscellaneous factor on that, on that kind of tip. At um, Dreamhack... When uh, Fnatic lost that series to MTW with the old Fnatic lineup, yeah. the first map they played, and I think MTW took something like 10 rounds, 11 rounds off them as terrorists. Fnatic switched to the terror side on Tuscan and won 12 to 0 as terrorists. So if, if Mouse Sports aren't a great team, but everyone's thinking because they come from Germany, they play it in the EPS, so let's favor them on that map, not so quick necessarily because um, Fnatic really know how to get it done on the terrorist side there. Well, for now, we are going to go down into the interview area. Carmack is there with DSN and six from Mouseports. I'm standing here with Tix and DSN, as Joe said. DSN, uh, your last several encounters versus Mouseports, uh, you don't even have, you haven't won more games than they have. And yet you've won more titles. Why are they, why, or why do they seem like they are a very tough opponent for you? Well, we haven't played them in, in quite a while now. And uh, I was looking at Fryby today, which is a Switch community site. And I think they have uh, four, four out of the five uh, latest games they won. So definitely looking to, uh, to get a win here so they don't rush too far ahead. So is it the style of play of the Germans? Or, in, or, or what is it about them that they... Uh, managed to beat you? Uh, I think we've encountered them at, at the wrong times. Um, late 2008, we were pretty bad. We played them two times then. So, And this year, we've been pretty good. And I only think we've we played two times. So it's 1-1. Uh, or last year, 2009, it's 1-1. So that was our best year. But still, we didn't play them a lot. So. On a scale of 10, how high is the confidence level in Fnatic? 10, always. No, I don't know. I mean, it's going to be a fun match. But uh, I would be lying if I, if I would be saying that we aren't confident. All right, Tix. Yesterday's semi-finals painted a very pretty picture of uh, Fnatic as the uh, Goliath, giving only three rounds to Ravens, and you guys struggling or having a very tough game against uh, SK Gaming. Do you feel like the David in this matchup? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, uh, you don't have to overrate that win because it was the first semi-final for a lot of players from uh, Roskill the Ravens, so they could have been excited. And first, a big name like Fnatic, so they uh, had tough conditions. Uh, no doubt about Fnatic playing really good, but I mean, uh, Ravens didn't show their their real game, so uh, don't overrate the match. And um, yeah, we played a hard match against SK yesterday. We had to show our A game to win. And uh, yeah, let's hope we will show it today. You don't like Tuscan too much. Do you feel like uh, uh, do you feel like you have to win it in two maps? I know some of uh, the players on Mouse Sports are rather concerned about playing Tuscan. Well, uh, I consider Tuscan as a okay map of us. Uh, it depends on the enemies. I think Fnatic's play style is okay for us on Tuscan, but on Nuke, I consider them very strong. On Inferno, it's like 50-50. We have, to, as I said, we have to play our A game to be able to win. Confidence level on a scale of 10? Uh, after yesterday's match and Kirschnet's match, of course, 10. All right, well, after the commercial break, we will come back and we will have the grand final of the Intellect Stream Masters European Championship with Joe and with Thorin.
Air Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. Welcome back then to ESL TV for the grand final here. Finally, we've got there after four long days and amazing games, and it is, of course, going to be Fnatic versus Mouse Sports. Mouse Sports on home soil, actually, here. Uh, Fnatic don't care where they are. They just like to win everywhere. Definitely. I think is the uh, overall picture. Uh, just some information, actually. We've got some things to give away. Uh, Rocket Kova, which is the uh, mouse. Rocket Apuri, which is, uh, if memory serves me correctly, the mouse bungee thing, which looks like an alien, and it's got USB slots on it, and it's pretty awesome. Um, and also the Rocket Soto in black, the mouse pad. Uh, you can win one of, uh, one of those. You've got one of each up for grabs for this game. What you have to do is go over to twitter.com forward slash IEM, I, bleh, IEM underscore TV and we will be giving away um, three of them there. What you've got to do is write, obviously, at the at IEM TV um, and guess the score correctly of the first map, which is going to be Nuke. So uh, the first three people that guess correctly will win of one of the uh, three prizes here uh, up for grabs. And uh, that information has come directly from Calm, uh, uh, from Carmack. So, you know, it's it's true. It's all good. We're giving it away. And, of course, over at facebook.com forward slash ESL TV, we're also giving away the uh, SK signed Rocket Sota mouse pad. Uh, so if you follow us there, make a comment. Um, we're also giving away some signed posters. So plenty of goodies up for grabs here uh, from the Intel Extreme Masters European Championships. And uh, we're about, I think, to get this one going. I see all ten players, and I see uh, they're all actually sat down. So we should be good to go. And now uh, we've got some big Intel posters in front of Fnatic, actually, so that they can't see our screens, um, which is cool, I guess, to stop that stuff. Not that you there ever expect anything like that from Fnatic, anyway. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get the uh, restarts in. Have the knife, and uh, obviously that will uh, tell us who's gonna start out here on the. Uh, CT side most likely um, and what, what do you think to the map choices obviously Nuke Inferno and Tuscan I mean Inferno rather than Dust2 do you think that's just due to the way that Fnatic have been playing uh, Dust2 recently um, I think that yeah I think that means that Mouse are just really confident on Inferno in spite of those results earlier on where yeah. they lost I mean I think they you know what in that kind of situation maybe they feel like yeah we can lose on Inferno but when we play our A game, then it's our best chance to win. And I think sometimes, I think actually against Fnatic, that's probably the kind of mentality you have to have. Because if you're not going to play your best game, the way this team is playing, I don't know if you are going to win if you aren't going to play absolutely <laughs> at your peak. So go for your strengths. Don't try and play the opposite way and just try and say, oh, we'll try and play Fnatic's worst maps. Just take your best shot and then let's see what's going to happen. Well, remember last night in the uh, pre-game interview of the uh, semi-final, which was Fnatic against Ross Kilder, uh, Khan said, yeah, well, this is our first game today. We're going to be rusty. And, uh, well, it didn't quite work out that way. Here is the ninth round, and uh, obviously it's both the first game of both of these teams today. So, you know, the, uh, the rustiest team will probably lose, I guess you could say. Here's now a three-on-one in the knife. Fnatic going to pick it up and, of course, are going to switch over onto the counter-terrorist side, a uh, side which you've seen them rather successful last time 15-0 they won against Ravens and uh, they'll be looking to produce something like that here of course they won't be uh, expecting 15-0 again they may get it if they uh, <laughs> if they really can lock down uh, Nuke but I don't quite think so against no, a team I, yeah, of mass sports I don't see that happening of course, Roman God B6, Capio and Tixel the lineup for mass sports get right for his threat DSN and Khan for Fnatic. So we are live yeah. and underway in a pistol. I think Fnatic I'm going to be keeping my mouse. eye on uh, Capio here because I think, as we said, it seems like when he plays poorly, that's when Mouse are in trouble. So, I mean, if he can at least pull up an average game out here, let's see, the game could pretty much be on at that point. And now we've got two men pushing the outside here as Roman will uh, open up the front. Oh, very for interesting the match. boost by Fnatic in the ramp room so that they can have one man holding there. 
Oh, look at this from Get Right on the outside with the USP. He's got two before finally Tixo has knocked him out. Threat came around the opposite side, and it's now three versus two. Roman and God B. There goes God B. Roman with five points of health, one bullet from USP. And DSN's going to get him now right in the side. Here we go, and there is DSN. Fnatic will win the pistol round here on CT side of Nuke, and it's job done for them. And get right, really opening up that uh, round with the two frags on the outside. Almost took tick, so his teammate Threat finished it off. And you can see Threat there giving a smile over to get right as they look to uh, continue off here in the second round performance. Yeah, bad decision by Mouse to try and attack from range with Glocks against at least two of the best USP players of all time. So, I mean, let's see if Mouse Sports are going to go for Deagles or something on the third round or whether they're going to be able to get this bomb down somehow. Well, currently, they're going to push this uh, ramp room, which DSN is going to clear up with the help of Forrest there, finally. But they won't lose a single man, Fnatic, as you may expect. And they move to a 2-0. Let's see if they continue here. Mouse Sports, of course, have two frags, no bomb plants. They're not going to buy up here. Eagles, Deagles. here we go. Let's Dolls see where they're going to venture here. They've got some flashes as well, so this could be a ramp. Oh, they're going to go for upper here. It's going to be an aggressive upper push. He is get right, and he actually dropped off there, lost most of his health. Khan will uh, oh, what's be by Khan. in there to recover. Gobby is the last man alive. And he's going to try and... There's someone behind him who's going to kill him now, though. DSN and Khan. Oh, they've pulled it back again. They've slowed it down. This is what Fnatic like to do, remember. They don't want to rush in there and suddenly end up in a one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to use their numbers advantage. Gobby has six health, and if he wants to win this round, he has to plant this bomb first. He is going to go for that plant. Let's watch Khan. If he sprays the floor... Oh, now you're going to see them go in together here. Here he comes, and Khan spotted him. He's going to call that out to DSN, surely. So here comes a nade. Go yeah, there was a grenade well there. Done. And that was actually Khan dropped down in vents, and he saw him. And uh, before he went for it... Yeah, drop back up. Uh, DSN's grenade dropping in. And again, Fnatic just using, as we saw yesterday on, uh, I think it was Tuscan, using the time on that bomb to go collect better weapons and make sure they can move them through into this next round. So, 3 0. Mouseport's going to have weapons now. And this yep. will be the uh, test for them. Fnatic not even wanting to risk it. They don't allow Capio even a chance of doing something crazy. You just play it smart, use the numbers advantage. And then we saw there the communication. DSN throws in his nade. It was all over at that point. And now Mouse Sports here, ready with those flashes. This looks like it's going to be squeaky open, flashes in, and let's go up, guys. Here we go. Flashing around. Capitan's grenade will kill Threat. That's a big actual uh, frag, to be honest, for Mouse Sports. Threat yesterday on that upper side was absolutely formidable. Mouse has settled There's an in. upper fake there. Yeah. But it has pulled the Fnatic players over, so let's see. Kind of big this is well. something else you sure often see from mouse spots. They can be quite stubborn. They like to fake a site and then try and hit that site. And it's very difficult to execute in Counter Strike as a terrorist. But um, I mean, if that's the game they're going to play, then they better execute well. Here are the men on the outside. Forrest will cap God B. Capio, he was on left. Six and half moving out. fully into the upper site, unchallenged. Here comes Forrest, though. He's going to peek. Here is Forrest. Spraying oh, down the bomb and Roman very, actually surviving. Very uncharacteristic miss from Forrest there. I think he felt kind of rushed and he just sprayed it instead of taking a quick burst onto the guy's head. Big play from Roman. We have DSN who of course is looking likely not to go for the uh, defuse here. One versus four. Only just 15 seconds remaining on the clock. It's looking like Mouse Sports will have that first round on Terrorist side here on Nuke. Of course, this is the, uh, I guess you could say, second uh, second tournament for Fnatic with their new lineup. And uh, they're currently one win out of one, looking to uh, make it two out of two. It's not, it's not, not very easy for uh, Fnatic's 2010 team to beat the uh, stats of their 2019. I mean, even, even on a purely logistical level, to even attend that many tournaments is difficult. I think that's probably a big reason as to why you're not seeing Gooks in this lineup anymore. It's grueling to even play that many tournaments, never mind getting the finals of yeah. eight. 
nine if you can get here. Oh, it's not a threat. Oh, this is actually uh, with a the FAMAS there. Tixel's on fine. eight health, cap your ten health. Yeah. That was nicely executed there after losing Kant. Question is, where will they go for next? Looks like it's going to be uh, the upper push. Get right is in a good position here. Yeah, get right on oh, top, God but he'll be. be too slow. And then Bond is going to get planted. Let's watch that, Threat, who's coming oh, in from smoke. this inner entry there. He spotted one. God B will be watching again. It looks as though God B replicating that form that we saw him in last night. It's Fnatic with that bomb ticking away. And a hell was low against four remaining players. At least DSN will get away. Only Forrest will be uh, killed at the end. DSN now edging his way completely to the opposite side. DSN has not hide died out. once from his position at ramp room, so let's see if mouse spots are ever going to go to that ramp room. Oh, here comes a flash. DSN gets one. I think if he gets in the corner now, he's pretty much survived it. Yes, he will. And that's Mouse Sports up to two rounds. They're, uh, I think, quietly confident coming into this match, despite how Fnatic have performed throughout the, uh, the last few days, which is flawlessly. Although their first match, Fnatic, to be fair, against Oxmos was a bit of a rocky one. No, against Kirschnet was a bit of a rocky one. 16-14 they won on uh, Inferno, so that could be their weak point. And Mouseports may be uh, looking at it here as though, well, if we can win Nuke, which is obviously uh, Fnatic's choice. Yeah, imagine the confidence they're going to have on those last two maps oh, there. That was a horrible grenade from Khan as well. Just bouncing up on the uh, ground in Hutton. Threat obviously was stood on the roof. Goes down. He is Capio. So much confidence in Mouse Sports at the moment. You saw there the way they uh, kind of leapt around. Of course, uh, and let's not forget wasn't good for in fire. all the other games that Mouse Sports have played, and they haven't lived up to our expectations. That's it. There's been those expectations there. We're not just expecting that they can win. We're expecting that they must win. In this game, they're the underdogs. Everyone's saying before the game even starts. Okay, you did really well to get second, but you don't, you're not going to beat this Fnatic team. So all of a sudden, all the pressure's off Mouse Sports, and they're free to just give it their best shot. Get right there, just messing up on the uh, rafters drop. Down already to 60 HP. So far, we're seeing this is... That wasn't... The, the Ravens that turned up today wasn't the Ravens of yesterday. Well, this isn't the Fnatic of yesterday either. No, but also Mouse Sports aren't Ravens. That's where we uh, can maybe be seen a bit of a difference. Get right holding back. As you can see, Mouse Sports have broke through here into ramp room, but Forrest is still holding down by the uh, entrance. They really need to deal with him. It's going through to ladder. Mouse. This is interesting. Mouse are going to go all the way back through the radio room and up to upper. See, now, you would normally expect them to either go down the ramp or to go through and up the ladder up the other side. But they're going to go all the way back. See, every round they want to go upper, but they're tr figuring out how are we going to do it? What are we going to do differently that's going to get us back into that site? One of the few sites that you can totally stack almost every time and know that you've got a short distance to rotate together. Here's Get Right. What Great bit of movement dropping down here. Gets the second onto Tixo as well. It's now all with Roman, who was out there by the front. He's got two. One versus two, but threat will hold. Fnatic losing three in a row will get one back. And go a, back yeah. into the lead. A classic little bounce through the window there by Get Right and yeah. some good skill. And he almost, although he almost blew it, doing the standard popping out the vents when Roman happened to actually be there at the mini. Yeah. But yeah, Get Right is obviously always an X factor for this team. The rest of the players can all play great, but it seems like when they play good and he plays great, I don't think I've ever seen them get beaten. Yeah, the, uh, Especially not on this map. Team, for that, continuing sure. to attack, um, Mouse continuing to attack this upper bomb site. <laughs> Got B using uh, his opponent's flash there as a bit of use going into that upper site. This is a good situation for them here. Forrest is going to try and go out as the bomb gets planted here. I think when he hear bomb planted, he's going to throw that flash and pop up. Well, the two flashes have gone. Forrest is going to follow. Brilliant play by Forrest. Oh, oh look once, at that second time, not quite able to pull it. But here's Threat. 
to give him the cover. Threat turns away. Flash was there. Roman will have him. And it's 4-4. Our sports bring us back. Big, big round from our sports here. And Roman is playing the kind of game that he needs to play. Team our sports at the moment showing that the old ad adage is correct. It's not how you start, it's how you finish this game. Well, certainly this has been as close as it can be so far with Fnatic having that pistol round victory up to three and then Mouse Sports clawing it straight back. Let's see who will take the lead. This looks like an aggressive push from Mouse down into Ramp Room. Or is will they let him get that gun though? They're going to keep on that gun. Surely they won't. There's no way Mouse Sports are going to risk letting uh, Forrest get that AK here in Ramp. Forrest lost one man here as the flash has come around. Tixo will have these Forrest. Get right is there with one of his own. DSN. This is very smart play here. What can DSN do not a lot, and it's all on Khan. One on three, only a USP. See, even when you even when you're versus USPs, you can't be too careful. So you can see all these flashbangs. You see them pushing up, covering each other's corners. Khan has an impossible task. Here. Well, fires through, and sounds like Mouse Sports. Well, they have got a bit of a fan club behind them, actually. And at the moment, Khan not playing very well. And we've seen that in the games that Mouse Sports have won, actually. It's not just that tactically they've been kind of outplaying the other teams. It's that in, a, in terms of a straight up leader versus leader battle, Gobby's been doing some great fragging. And it seems like in the uh, SK game, Valor wasn't quite able to get up to his level. I mean, let's keep your eye on how Khan can bounce back here. Because we know how Gobby's playing. Here's a fast push from Mouse Sports again into the upper side. Capio and Godby both this starting off perfectly. Here. Struggling here for more. Right now we have three remaining for Fnatic. All five still alive. Yeah, and I think you're going to see them try and save here. Exit kills are all they care about right now. Get right, just waiting off by ladder. Roman's gone searching. Forrest is down low. Where's Khan? Yeah, he's with Forrest. So. I've got to say, there's very few teams I've seen who attack the upper site as well as Mouse Sports are right now. But just the right mixture of aggression, where you push in, not afraid of where the CT is hiding, but also just the right mix of team play, whereby they cover each other's nine just at the right time. That will be Mouse Sports taking a uh, two-point lead for the first time in this match. Let's see how far they can push this lead. For Mouse, a lead at the uh, at the half-time stage would be more than ideal. And again, movement towards that upper side. But at least for now, they're going to hold back. There goes the uh, shots from God B. Lots of walls on both sides. To the hot, I think. Fantastic from Roman there. So, here comes Mouse Sports. Spam those rafters. That's a uh, good point that Carl made earlier. Uh, well, yesterday actually, when we were. Uh, no, the day before the semi finals. Um, no, that was yesterday. The relegation games, which was the day before. Um, Khan saying, you know, well, the thing about that. Rafter spam early on is that most teams are going to be aware of it and not take those positions. But once you let a few, uh, you know, 30 seconds go by, then they're going to take those positions, and that's when you can really do the damage. And so far, Fnatic are down to uh, three hurt members remaining against five of Mouse Sports. There goes Capio with a double. DSN is now all that remains. Will he go for it? Yeah, and as we're seeing here, Capio plays well, Roman plays really well, and all of a sudden, Mouse are looking pretty pretty damn good on this map. Tixo has uh, found DSN at the end there as well. It's now 7-4. Things getting a bit more difficult. And when you consider Mouse Sports lost this pistol round, this could be a very one-sided affair right now. Could be. I mean, Fnatic, like you say, they one pistol had three, and then uh, they've only managed one round since that. This is going to be a big test as well because the old Fnatic were also one of the great teams at attacking on Terra's side of Nuke. This is a different Fnatic team though. So just as we didn't get to see Ravens playing as CT, we also didn't get to see Fnatic playing as Terrorist. So let's see just how this new 2010 team matches up. Happy 
Israel thinks there's someone behind that wall. Not sure if there was, to be honest, but Passport's not taking any chances. Again, we'll set, settle into those positions to hit the positions through the wall. Oh, God B and a Forrester about to engage right now, outside. There is God B. His uh, teammate Capio has just gone down at the side of him. God B will look oh, for Forrest, kills. and it is Forrest that gets two. Monstrous kills there. Forrest, maybe heard us shout his name there, sprays the wall. Finally, Roman will kill him. That's like a personal insult there for Roman that he, uh, that Forrest killed two of his men. <laughs> Goes around looking for more, but threat. You know, Fnatic there, once they got that first frag inside of the lobby, they pushed up to keep it covered. And that's an important factor. Very nice yeah, little display frag. of skill from Forrest there. I mean, we saw literally that was a mixture of perfect technique and perfect movement. You saw on God B's screen, he didn't even have a chance to get a shot off there. Just the second that Forrest landed on, off his bounce, instant headshot. Yeah. Very, very difficult to play against that. Early, uh, early flashes from Fnatic once again into that upper side. Khan is going to push in aggressively from up here. Big kill there on Taxo. Khan will go in, yeah. He's lost most of his HP, but at least he's got the frag. That sometimes can uh, prove more vital than you know, keeping your health to the maximum. There's Forrest hiding behind the boxes deep in the ramp room. Five on three, still Fnatic with a good grip on this round. Here comes another one from the opposite side. That was threat. And the bomb is down here. Get right's in the position as well. That bomb down in a horrible uh, area for Mass Sports to recapture it. And Roman has got so much on his hands now and he won't be able to outmatch Get Right who leaped up on the boxes. Fnatic come back one more, seven, six. Yep, and again, we see a game where it's starting to pull away. And all of a sudden, a game that looked like it was one-sided, it looked like mouse sports were everywhere doing everything, everything they tried worked. And Fnatic have a real chance to end this either one round down or one round up. Still wide open. But we've also seen that mouse sports, to their detriment, have kind of played more of a slow game once they got that lead. Whereas before, when it was kind of needed, that they, they desperately needed a few rounds, they were playing very aggressive on upper. So will they go back to what was working, or have Fnatic figured out some kind of counter for it? Currently, now Sports using those early seconds again to take away health from threat and get right. Now what Khan does here at the garage could be huge. If he stays here and does not show at all, I think he's going to get a free shot onto one of them at least. I have to see. I think six was. Yeah, they've gone back inside. Now. Probing. They've gone back. Ah, but here we go. Roman's going to crouch on outside. Capio's Can out there P. as well, actually. There is Capio. Carnal spot him. Flashes will oh, be. Oh, he uh, throws the flash. Deep. Two flashes. <laughs> Capio actually ran away around the corner then. He's going to come from the opposite side onto Khan. Morris and Get Right both pick up frags of their own. Capio's Capio kill is vital. He's going to get the kill. And it's two versus two. Get Right and Forrest, the two big hitters of this Fnatic lineup in 2009. But 16 seconds, they've got to get to this bomb really, really fast here. They can't afford to walk. Get Right's lower. Forrest. I, don't, I think Mouse Sports haven't kept their eye on the clock. Well, they're going to run in here. Roman, who has the bomb, is now going to yeah. run away. And they are going to keep that round on their side here, our Fnatic. And uh, nice holding play from Get Right and Forrest at the end. Did enough to keep Mass Sports scared. Yeah, we hit the final round of this first half. I think what you saw there was Mass Sports thought to themselves, well, Fnatic will definitely be covering this bomb. So we have a chance at killing them and winning the round. Fnatic actually saw that there's about seven or eight seconds left. With the position of where that bomb is, they're going to have to run non stop to even get it down. Yeah. Again, Fnatic here are using the map to win the game. Now Sports are using their aim to win the game. Well, so who's, who's his, who's this final is round, hold they've out? come into this upper side very, very quickly here. Threat and get right, really going at it. And well, got B there at the end, just not able to find the shots onto Khan that he needed. And it will give Fnatic an 8 7 lead at the half. And I Four don't think they'll be too Fnatic happy there, with that. They'll, you know, they'll be, uh, I mean, you can see Threat holding his head and. I'm not sure if Fnatic are going to be too pleased with themselves after that first half. and At least maybe it's a bit of warm-up and 
for the time to get in and read it. This could be okay, but obviously now they're going to move to T side, and that's where uh, the real signs will uh, start to show from Fnatic whether they're going to be good or whether they'll uh, fold under the pressure, which you know, Mass Sports will be hoping for. I think that could have that little bit of resistance there, like I was saying, Mass Sport, um Fnatic hadn't faced any real resistance so far any time that a team threatened to kind of put them out. So I think what one of the positives for Fnatic there, aside from taking that early half, is that it kind of woke Forest up, it felt like. And then they kind of had to had to realise, like, listen, we're going to have to adapt to what our teammates doing. We can't just do whatever we want to do all the time. And you saw them adapt over the end of that half there. They kind of figured out what Mouse Sports wanted to do, and they took certain things away from them. And Mouse Sports themselves... They thought they had a few answers, but then they found themselves kind of grasping towards the end there. And on that very last round, I mean, I think they were all blind most of the time. They never even got a chance at that upper site. Currently, Forrest uh, who's taking a quick toilet break. And Roman had such an incredible first sort of 11 rounds, almost nothing for the last five or so. So let's get it underway then. Second half of Fnatic Mouse Sports, the grand final here of the Intel Extreme Masters European Championships. The winner will be taking home a little bit of money $25,000. Pretty sweet. Fnatic usually like to play these t with their old team, they would like to play these terrorist pistol rounds at sort of a semi quick pace. And what would happen is if they got into the ramp room and got kills, they wouldn't push round over the ladder room they wouldn't push down the ramp what they would do is they would hold for a little while and they'd maybe have a man over at the lobby still and what they're doing is they're waiting for aggressive pushes from the uh, ct half so let's see if they're going to play that kind of pace or whether they're just going to go one or the other really slow really quick and it was oh, a very effective style out. as well we shall find out right now because we are live and underway eight seven fanatic lead and we have USPs in the hands of some greats here. Right now, one of them went onto the outer areas. Forest and threat. Ooh, this could be interesting. Gobby actually oh, boosting climbed into the up hut here there. into the hut. And he's going to take the shots. Gets himself two. What a brilliant second shot from Godby. They finally uh, hit him there with a grenade to force him away. But, well, Look what at this stack of upper that mouse spots have got. That was a, such an amazing move from Gobby to uh, go there early. Fnatic not expecting it whatsoever. And his second shot, well, uh, he could this say is maybe a, great a little setup lucky as well. They've got everywhere covered, and if Six dies, then they know to rotate down. So Six is going to take this shot. Whether he hits it or not, mouse spots are going to know that they're going ramp. And they've got the quick position on that vent to get one man down. There is Six. Will uh, back away. The problem is now: Are Fnatic going to hit it, or are they going to call Mouse's bluff? Here we go. Up the ladder we go. Yeah, DSN is up there. 28 seconds though. The clock's starting to work against Fnatic now. Here we go. Now Tixo they're taking one. Six is there as well. Capio coming wow. in and will knife get right in the back. You can hear <laughs> the Mouse Sports reaction to that. Nice little move from uh, Mouse Sports. Bit cheeky, that. And one thing you can say about Mouse Sports so far, just looking at their expression, looking at the way they're playing this game, they're treating Fnatic like any other opponent they've played. They have, they have no respect for them in the sense that they're going to afford them any kind of space or undue kind of... Uh, they're not going to pull back at all in this game, you can tell. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think they are either. I mean, yeah, you'll probably uh, see a bit of an annoyed get right now because, you know... He's, he's that kind of player that, while he's pretty modest and things, I, you can tell that he's got an air of, not arrogance, but certainly uh, self-appreciation, let's say. Um, and he, he knows how good he is. That and could that get under his skin, for yeah. sure. That's the kind of thing that when he gets those two quick kills, it's going to make him want to push in for that kind of frag movie sequence so he can get a little bit of back himself. Rest of Fnatic here on this outer area. DSN and Khan, the only two to uh, stand. Now DSN has given his position away, and Capio was waiting by the vent. Could have got another knife there if he really wanted. Oh, actually, Capio, it wasn't by the vent. Capio was by the ladder. Uh, either way, Mouse Sports 2-0 in the second half, and, uh, of course, 9-8 overall. Two Gallows here so far purchased. It's interesting. They're going to go with Gallows and Flashes. 
Because, of course, they've only got one kill on their team. Three Galils. Have they all gone Galil, or have they got a couple of Glocks here? Let's see. Yeah, but it looks like they're all Galil. So all Galil, and it looks like all got flashes as well. So this is going to take a lot of individual skill to max out the parity between those Colts and Galils. Well, there's an AK as well for Get Right, which uh, could help them out here. They are now going to hit this upper site. Very, very fast here from Fnatic. There's a Roman, Tixo, and Capio. <laughs> Wonderful stuff there. Absolutely no chance of you guys getting into this site. We've got it on lockdown. And only one kill, actually, in the first four rounds for Fnatic. Well, that came from Get Right. The score is now 10-8, Mouse. And this is not a good economical situation for Fnatic now. Not only did they buy those Galils, but they also bought flashes. Let's see if Mouseports can truly lock this map down. And here's one flash Fnatic for on an Fnatic. eco now. <laughs> Who's on the upper side for Mouseports? It's going to be Roman and Tixo and Capio there in rafters as well. And it's simple. And if you wanted a statement from Mouseports, Fnatic have one kill after four rounds on their terrorist side, and terrorists where they need to get it done here. Yep, 11 8 it is. And what will this do to. Let's see how Fnatic can mentally hold it together if they lose their map choice like this. Just knowing what the deciding map is. It'll be very interesting to see. I think so here. He's going to have a peek from uh, the garage area. Oh, Roman's in a position to get spammed here. And, and, and they got will. him in the head. That's uh, going to be annoying for Roman. Here as well. That's, uh, That's why you do that. That's why you do that boost also, so you don't have to get the slowdown of going up those boxes. So well done there by Fnatic. That's given them a little bit of uh, an edge should they make a good upper attack this time. Have to see if uh, Roman's affected by that. Here come the grenades down into uh, that ladder, into the ramp room area. Threat. He's the only one to have lost uh, any kind of significant amount of health here for Fnatic. He's down to 28. Looking like he's going to make a uh, move, maybe. Oh, they don't know Six is up side. in this position. If he holds this exact position here, doesn't move left or right, he's perfect for a kill when this guy comes through. Here is Six. On to Forest. God B will take Khan and DSN. Here's the last one, Tixo will uh, shut down the one, and Tixo with the USB dies, but Capio will drop down right in front of him. And that's five in a row for Mouse, 12 to eight. And Fnatic managed one kill that round as well, so they're up to two now. And we saw this for SK in their match. Their second half, just not able to pick up frags. Capio and Roman so far. Are the players getting it done for the Mouse Sports team? And God B, it just seems like all his kills just matter so much. Sometimes they'll only get two in a round, but they'll be the two most important. 12-8 Fnatic, uh, sorry, 12-8 Mouseports lead. And now Will Capio gets spammed. He's in that position. So is Roman. And that's what Fnatic are doing, spamming the area. They just haven't hit them yet. Forrest has worked his way out very quickly here to the outer uh, area. And uh, he's taken a position already by Garage. It's going to oh, see him Gopi maybe get gonna, this frag. Gopi is going to go behind them the metal stairs if he can. That's why he's trying to sneak behind them. Roman he was there in the uh, window onto Forest, as I said. But here comes the ramp attack, and only six is there. Flash has come in, slowing Fnatic down just a little. Oh, look six at that will take shot. down Get Right. Can six do moving on. Capio has come around to back him up, and this is not looking good at all for uh, Fnatic. Khan's still on 100, but he's going to meet two probably here as he enters ladder. If he goes ladder, he's got to uh, get through ramp room first. And there is one of them in there. It was Roman who was tucked away in Look the corner. Six. There is six who will double up to finish off the round. And that is six in a row. Ironic. As uh, Mouseports move three away from first map victory on Fnatic's choice. And we just saw how locked in Six's aim is there. When that man ran out of radio room, he just ripped his head straight off. The first bullet out of his gun. And that spray, the man was jumping and he it's like he just sprayed him out of the air in an arc. So we see Ma that Ma um, Fnatic do not want to attack ramp room right now with that kind of range for Six's cold. Get right, currently on the outer. 
made it as far as uh, the red box. And it looks like Fnatic's major focus will be on this outer area this round. Of course, last time it was Forrest who lost out. This time he's picked up the first frag onto Tix. Oh, Six is going to head outside now. He's going to flash first. Tix is dead. Here's another one peeking actually for Mouse. Fnatic now should use this opportunity and maybe get in there. Gobby and Capio bringing it back. It's Roman and Capio. Capio's going to go down. So it's going to leave Roman on his own here. Let's come back up again. Oh, DSN is right near where Capio is. There is Capio and wasn't able to uh, get the frag through the smoke. But Roman here could cause an upset. Unfortunately, he's looking to his left. If he looked right a second earlier, he might have seen the man. Here comes Roman. Is that the Taking bomb? his time. This no. is brilliant from Roman. And, well, a little bit unlucky, to be fair to him. He was expecting uh, one person to come down yeah. from the bottom as well. I mean, he, that might look kind of amateurish, the way he got killed there, but he had to take that risk. Because if he had have seen another Fnatic player there, that's yeah. how you win the three-on-one. That will actually be Fnatic's first round of the second half. Finally got a few kills on the board. And, uh, but where are Fnatic going to attack? What position are they able to get into here? Looks like a going outside. Well, Khan at the minute is uh, taking a hit through squeaky door. He uh, was watching there for a good while. DSN in trouble there as a uh, second man could go down quickly for Fnatic as well. Capio firing down. Not sure who he was on that Gobby outer is aware area, that Forrest is out here, though. He knows that he's trapped in by two guys. So I don't think you're going to see him peek unnecessarily. Capio still covering comes that Tixo, position. Though, ready to kill them if they come around that corner. Cross-firing with Gobby, I think. No, Gobby's dead. Capio up high. Looking like it's empty on that outside. Get right's gone back. Threat's gone back. And Khan is still holding lobby. Threat's health could be a real problem here. Capio, any second now, is going to peek on them. Oh, what a time to spam the wall. Now they know where he is. All right, coming in here towards ladder room. He's going to keep moving through. There is six who does not get right quite low. Down Tixel's to 22 going to be down there, HP, though. actually. The time. Here we go. 18 seconds remaining on the clock. Get right, starting to make his entry into this lower bomb site. Khan, he's dead. And the time and is really going to work against Mouse Sports now. Well, the bomb going down. As Tixo will move in. It's now all on threat, who's got just 10 points of health waiting on that vent area. Two and of they've them got the remaining. full clock to work with here. Here comes Tixo, and Caprio will have him. And that was well covered from Mouse Sports. They let Fnatic get one there, the first of the second half, but they'll not let them uh, get any kind of run together. And Mouseports move two away from first map. And again, we didn't get to see how Fnatic would play that terrorist side. And at the moment, it, real problems on this side for them. Well, maybe, maybe this is how Fnatic are playing this T-side. Mouse sports have them on lockdown. They can't find a way in. I mean, that's another thing about that WEM tournament they won. They didn't play Nuke in that tournament. Forrest down to Roman. Gobby will pick Get Right as well, and this is already looking bad for, Ma uh, for Fnatic. Threat has moved through into radio room, but again, another grenade sliding in there, and he could find himself in a similar position. Six just spraying through. DSN's made his way onto the outer. We can see that Gobby is there at window, and that's the start that Mouse Sports really were looking for here. They're down just to one man now, and that is Khan. Finally, he's got a kill. He's got four more to find. Roman's low. But as he moves in towards this upper side, he's going to be hit from both sides, and Tixo will mop up, and that is map point Mouse Sports, 15 to 9. And they're just obviously one away. From uh, moving through to Inferno, their map choice with a 1 0 lead. Well, it might well be 16 to 9, just the wrong way around. Here we go. Massport setting up again for a round that could see them as uh, ginormous famous uh, favourites going Deagle's into uh, that next round. 
Yeah, money was uh, pretty much bargained on that 14th round there, yep. even though it wasn't good. Get right, this is over. his last man alive. He's going to drop down, and he's got one man in front of him. Good shot onto God beat. Probably would have been he better. Has 19 health now. Yeah, probably would have been better going for his weapon there. But they are going to push in here. Close range from Capio. He's now got the M4 from Capio. It's going to see that now. Here goes. Get right, and Roman will be waiting there on ramp, and that is good game. 16 to nine. Fnatic will lose out on this first map, their map choice, to a uh, ecstatic mouse sports by the looks of things. And three kills combined for DSN, Forest and Threat on that T side in yeah. 10 rounds. Not very, uh, well, not what they were expecting, let's say that. And uh, now we are going to be moving through after uh, that first map to an interview. But before that, we'll be going to a commercial break. And then when we come back, it's going to be Carmack down there with uh, Genghis from Mouse Sports. Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. check I have here. It's a check for first place in the Counter-Strike tournament. It doesn't have a name written on it yet. I will write the name here. And this man here next to me, Genghis Tulu, is hoping that the name will be Mouse Sports. Genghis, as far as I know, after your team lost to the Ravens uh, in group play, you told them, hey guys, you're going to win the event. Did they believe you? You're halfway there. Yeah, obviously they believe me. They believe in everything I tell them. <laughs> and they try to execute that, what I say, said. And um, I mean, we won the first map in the grand final now. It's looking good. I think we have the momentum on our side, but the game ain't over yet. So it's still a long way. You're still going to have a second to chat to the team before they sit down to the second map. What are you going to tell them? To be honest, I'm not going to tell them anything because they know what's on the uh, what's what's on the stake, you know. And um, I also didn't say anything before the grand final to them. They they made their homework. They uh, discussed tactics and they executed them perfectly. We have a great spirit going on, and um, I think there's no need of me interfering and telling them anything. So what is your team doing right against Fnatic? Nobody has been able to stop them. You're the first ones this weekend. 
I think we are fighting because I mean, Fnatic is a pretty strong team. They they are able to win five six r rounds in a row, and a lot of teams uh, stop believing and yeah, their heads go down. But my team is like really pushing hard and trying to come back because with so many uh, close matches at this tournament, if it was against Millennium or Kirschnet. We always uh, had a big disadvantage in terms of score and we just came back strong and uh, we will just give 100%, do as much damage as we can and then see what will be the result. Is that because Roman is in? Is that the positive energy that Mouseports needed? Um, it's not only because of Roman, he's one of five players, so 20% uh, is obviously his uh, credit, but... Um, the team uh, is enjoying playing together and I think that's uh, the most important factor nowadays in high competitive Counter-Strike. You need to have fun and, you know, you like to play with your teammates. Final question maybe for you. Uh, are you really, is it really intense for you to sit behind your team and not be able to uh, do the fragging yourself? It's always said to be uh, that, you know, the situation is said to be that uh, if you're on the sidelines and you can't really influence the score, you're very, very nervous. How nervous are you? I'm really nervous. I'm always nervous when my team plays. I'm suffering with them. I'm happy with them. I'm sad with them. Yeah, I mean, I'm like part of the team and, you know, I'm feeling the same as emotions as the team at that point. Is there anything we should wish your team uh, before we go into the second map? Yeah, good luck, maybe. Well, good luck then, and we will bring it back to Joe and Duncan, our commentators. I think Genghis didn't actually answer the question there. Would uh, Does he ever want to get in there and do the fragging? Yeah. And I know his, his real answer would have been, it's probably best that I'm not in there yeah. trying to do the fragging. I think he'd be more nervous if he had to go in there right <laughs> now, play versus Fnatic for the title. I think his teammates would be more nervous if Jengus had to uh, jump in and uh, be the fifth man for whatever reason. Uh, just a quick update. Facebook.com forward slash ESL TV. We're giving away this little beauty, which is the uh, SK mouse pad. Actually signed, another SK mouse pad, signed by the whole uh, SK team. But not only that, it's even a little bit dirty because this is the mouse pad that FACE has used um, in this tournament as well. So uh, facebook.com forward slash ESL TV if you uh, want to win that. I'm pretty sure you won't miss the uh, the comments thread that's going on there um, in with the chance to actually win that mouse pad. Um, as far as the game goes, we've got Fnatic here. If I uh, take a quick look, yeah, Matt Spots have just returned um, so uh, we should be able to get the second map on Inferno underway um, what do you think is going through I mean we heard from Genghis there what's going through the head of mouse sports right now but what do you think's in the minds of Fnatic I mean one of the beauties of Fnatic and this has always been one of their strengths is that they might be stronger on one map or another but they're good on all the maps yeah so I mean I would hope if they're gonna get back in this game that they're thinking to themselves okay mouse sports took our map selection but you know what? We're really good on all the maps, so let's take their map selection back now. And plus, I mean, they've already seen that mouse sports can be beaten on this map. So, I mean, I think the confidence will still be there for Fnatic, but now is the time when they can't second-guess themselves at all now. They have to just play like Fnatic. Yeah, and you have to wonder uh, maybe how much it affects Fnatic not to have their manager behind them, Mr. Uh, Sam Matthews, although... I know uh, firsthand that Fnatic, well, they can perform well with a manager or 10 managers or no managers just as well. And I think their titles kind of show that um, throughout the uh, the period of time that we've had this uh, Fnatic lineup in there in one uh, shape or another throughout the years. Um, so we're just getting mouse sports in to uh, back into the server and back onto their side and then we can, uh, we can get Inferno underway. What do you think about Inferno? Because obviously we've seen mouse sports in various... Um, I, I, what, what can I really call it here? Various states, if you like, um, in, in terms of their Inferno games. And we've seen good matches from them, we've seen bad matches from them, and we've seen, well, downright amazing matches from them, obviously, as uh, their game against SK that went into double overtime kind of proved yesterday. I mean, from the way they were playing in that um, first game, the players that were hitting their shots, the way God B was kind of picking his spots to attack, I mean, it has the feel... Like, maybe we're going to see a, an Inferno game like we did yesterday against SK. Yeah. So, I mean, 
I think this could very well be a really close game either way again because I think Fnatic can definitely play at the level SK played at. So I mean, Fnatic have I would actually favour Fnatic on this map, but I think it's going to be really close. Well, we're going to get underway here with the ninth round, and then uh, we'll see who will get their choice of side. But no messing around here for Fnatic. They're going straight in there with the knives, and they're going to uh, take this one, surely. Yes, they are. Not even losing a single man, and that's how a knife round should look on Inferno. Everyone rush down, get the kills, and, uh, you know, get things underway. And uh, Fnatic going to have the huddle, get right, making as much noise with his hands as is uh, possible at the moment, trying to uh, get themselves kind of fired up and really move on with this. And of course, Fnatic are going to stick to CT side. And you know, this game really up in the air now with uh, Fnatic losing out on that last one. And let's consider that when Fnatic did play that first tournament with Threat, when it got to the playoffs, they played great. Everything went well. They won in two maps each time. So, I mean, this is the first time they've ever placed a real backs against the wall situation with Threat. This is the first time he's ever had pressure on him where he has to perform. So, I mean, let's keep your eye on how he's going to do in the first half of this game. Well, we're going to get this first half underway. It's the second map, Fnatic versus Mouse Sports. Obviously, Mouse Sports with a 1-0 uh, to zero lead in terms of maps as we hit Inferno, which is the uh, map choice of the Germans who will be looking to seal things off with a 2-0. And, you know, this map that Fnatic have just lost is their first map loss of the entire tournament. We'll have to see how that kind of shapes up and... Threat proves to uh, maybe be important. Being slow to get into the uh, air site here. Mouse Sports going Glocks, walking up to the uh, second mid, but taking the conservative route so they don't get pushed by some of the great USP players that Fnatic have at the window. Here goes Mouse, dropping carefully down in towards this middle area. They're going to make a push out. Let's see what DSN can do, because he's probably uh, one of the first to meet up with them oh. here. Just can't be uh, behind the box. Oh, he will peaks. go for the shot. He did take a bit of a hit, but Matt Sports certainly have taken most of the damage at the start of this one with Threat taking the head off one. There's DSN for the second. Fnatic looking good to pick up Pistol on CT side. And back go Matt Sports to B. Yeah. Fnatic are rotating over. This is a good rotation speed. Ah, Forrest decides to go back. Get right is behind the box. Good thing about Mouse Sports, everyone's used to their slow play style, and if Mouse Sports can make a team second guess themselves, that's where they can really open up holes, especially when it comes to these rotations. There they go, they've spotted six. Get right is going behind them in the middle, this will be key. Oh, he misses his shots. And Mouse Sports from that are now going to oh. uh, go charging into this site. And Capio gets some crucial headshots on to get right there. Yeah, get right down. Four versus three. Here's one man on the site. Jumping headshot almost from six, but Forrest will uh, outdo him. And it's now all on Capio. who is uh, going to move his way out of Balcony. And Fnatic's remaining four men were already there. No chance for Capio. And Fnatic pick up Pistol. As they did actually on CT side of Nuke as well. Worth noting. But we've seen that Mouse Sports aren't going to try and force this. They're going to play their game. This is the same style we've seen over and over. In the wins, they play like this. In the loss, they play like this. So, I mean, they're going to need confidence to make it work, but it feels like this is how they're going to set up a win. Capio there just uh, having a look at middle and see what could be in store for his teammates. And it's going to be double grenade there. Threats will uh, pick up the frag onto six. Roman losing health as well. And as Mouse Sports set up this little stack to uh, peek up through into apartments, Threat could be uh, ready and waiting. DSN is there as well. He peeks over the top. It's now Gobby and Tixo versus five. Surely an easy round for uh, Fnatic to mop up here. Get right in behind him with that, uh, with that uh, for Mass. And DSN is there as well. Easy uh, round for Fnatic as it turned out. They only lost a bit of health from DSN. No men going down, and that's 2-0. And here we go, buy from uh, some of the players on mouse spots. We've got Galils and AKs. This is an important round for mouse. They know that they've had some uh, good terrorist uh, halves against SK. They had a good show in there as well. And now we will see if they can do it against he's Fnatic. Right, he's getting aggressive with the banana hit. Oh, have Tixel's moving up quickly. I have to notice that Mouse Sports are a lot more aggressive here with weapons than we've seen them in previous matches. 
We'll have to see how that works out. Tixo taking down DSN. Here comes the move into this netted side, and it's looking good so far for Mouse. Roman has taken down threat in big pit now. Oh, He'll get his head taken off by Forrest. Grenade onto Tixo as well. What can Forrest do? Will spray. Godby is there. It's now two on two, but the health advantage firmly on the side of Fnatic. The bomb is down. Godby still waiting in that area. Still not sure exactly get right, where those players are. He's moving around behind Capio now. But he's going to go back and he's going to go apartments. This is a smart play with the time. Here's Capio. Khan will take him. Now Godby really has to find his form again. Flashes have gone in. There's Godby's the bomb. Godby's in trouble here. There was the bomb. Because even if he can get to these, get right, get right as is you moving can see, along. He's moving back. He's going to be there in about three seconds. Get right. Not peaking just yet. He'll let Godby make his own decisions. 20 seconds left. That is Godby's decision. Bomb planted. Now, get right's going to move. Is Godby going to uh, think about a man moving from that side? He won't. So oh, he doesn't he, know he where get right is, though. He doesn't know where he's going to get in, and he will get the kill with the FAMAS. And uh, he will go for that AWP before he gets the defuse. Hops down, picks up the defuse, and Fnatic take it 3-0. to zero. And Mousebot should be now back on that eco, although they've killed four and they've got the bomb down. So maybe, just maybe, they can uh, afford something here as well. And get right to man, obviously known for his aim, known for being aggressive and playing off that. But, I mean, we saw him use his brain there very well. He saw there was 40 seconds left. He knew that they were trapped in that area of the site. So rather than go around the, the right mid, where they're going to expect you, one of the two spots, he kept walking the whole way. And at the end there, Gobby couldn't be blamed. He had to look at those positions. And it was a guaranteed win for Fnatic. Mixture of Galils and AKs here for Mouse. This is a real desperate oh. round for Mouse Sports right now. They planted but all the same. This is a vital, vital round. Currently those grenades being pinged down. Banana have taken away a lot of health from the Germans, but they're not going to be uh, too disappointed as they start oh. to move in here up. Banana, Roman will land the frag on to get right. Let's see what Khan can do here. Is he going to just peek onto this position or is he going to make them run in the site first? Well, he's not peeked. And Mouse Sports... I'm going to go middle. DSN still over towards that banana site where Khan is holding as well. We're seeing this classic mouse sport style constantly using that middle to their advantage. And here is the middle. They've got that under control for now. They start to peek out. Not sure if they uh, actually saw anyone from Fnatic there or whether that's just hoping. Got B pushed was right waiting. up at the apartments here. He's about to flash into the site, but he sees a Fnatic player there. Still three of them moving around the left-hand side. Godby had spotted Forrest, but Tixo will move in, and this is a good bit of play from oh, Mouseport. Threat and DSN coming back around. Capio will now have to do it all alone, two versus one. Moving in quickly. Flash right next to him, but it's not blinding him fully, Huge but Threat will threat. be there. And well, Threat's earlier kill, plus that one, equals a fourth round for Fnatic. But don't give up yet, Mass Sports. We've seen that they can uh, certainly uh, work their way back in these matches. And we've seen some incredible CT play over a couple of matches for Mouse Sports. I mean, as long as they can get out of this first half with more than five rounds, this isn't over. Oh, Full wow. flashes into B here. Lots of uh, early action here. And of course, this is an eco round for Mouse Sports. And Get Right will actually claim four. Sauberman, we hear from uh, yeah. the Fnatic players there. <laughs> Get right, having a uh, good time of things. To be honest, I think Fnatic have found the uh, spirit, and that's something that never seems to go until uh, maybe the game's over from them. They'll keep their heads high until it's really uh, you know, not going to happen for them. When you're as good as Fnatic, you know you can't force it, so... Best case scenario, try and stay even keeled. Don't get too high, don't get too low. Just play loose. Right now, mouse spots. Standard stuff. One man uh, going up that alt middle area. Ticks off. He pushes up here. We'll see. Go right into the crosshair of DSN. But will he ever push up in this tournament? <laughs> well, his position generally to hold that area. 
is doing that, at least. Good flashbangs here to get entry, but they don't know there's someone behind that box to the left. And here's Get Right to join in. That man behind the uh, box will be Khan. They will wait for him uh, to reload, and that was smart play by Roman. Smokes are down. But mouse sports aren't all together. And can't push that area yet. Six could be the man to make a uh, big impact on oh, this Threat's round about for Mouse to meet Sports. Him, Here is Six, and he will take the head cleanly from Threat. And now it's all on Forest. Bomb should be coming around here with Tixo. I yeah, think you're going to see Roman him save as well. Here. Forest not going to uh, move over towards this site. Fanatic are going to concede around. Yeah, Forest will wait it out. 1v3, not even worth it. And Mouse Sports will finally pick one up. Obviously, uh, And we saw there, we've seen it time and time again in this tournament. What makes Six an amazing player is that he can have 20 health, but he, his aim is so good that he'll just get those headshots onto you before you have a chance to kill him. Yeah. And I mean, it's all or nothing when he does it, but the amount of times we've seen him hit it in these big games, it's becoming uncanny at this point. And that's another benefit that having Roman on your team brings. Now Six doesn't have to play well, but when he plays really well, it's going to push you over the top. 5-1 the score. Mouseport's picking up their first of the second map. And that was a costly round for Khan there, because he had a great yep. position behind that box, got that first kill, but then you saw he kind of rushed it. He sprayed too many into the box, and that let Roman kill him. That kill might have completely slowed Mouse down for like maybe 20 more seconds. Mouseport's not faltering from their uh, you know, default strat, which is three men always over at that alt mid area. Tixo to go up and cover by the stairs. And people might be wondering, bearing in mind all the teams who watch demos, how can Mouseports keep doing the same thing every round and not get punished for it? That's execution. When, it doesn't matter if they know what you're going to do. If you do it perfectly, then it works. That's the beauty of the terrorist side on uh, Counter-Strike. Tixo. Just backing off here for just a second. Yeah, the opening may be the same every time for Mouse, but the uh, the ending is definitely not. Tixo still waits, and now he's going to make his move. Will there be anyone there for Tixo to play with? Full flashbangs that are committed here to air. Working in nicely. Tixo got the opportunity now to move as Khan will open up with a double. Tixo does spot one, but... He's blinded and he actually will be uh, sprayed down to uh, 75. Time to save is gone. Yeah, one versus five. There's no uh, kind of entry here for ticks out. But doesn't seem to bother him. <laughs> that bomb is down there. Tixo will take the head off threat. Only four more to go. A wasted grenade, maybe. Six seconds. There's left. another man. DSN will open. him. And that will be six to one. Fnatic bouncing straight back there after conceding the one round. No problem. Good spawns if Mouse want to rush here towards B. See, you have the will. feeling they won't, though. No? No, I'm standard. Yeah. Three and two, two on the uh, ramp, three up towards alt mid. It's aggressive pushing from Fnatic down the banana door. Three with grenades, about to run down now and attack Roman's position. Let's stay here with Roman and Capio. Splash is coming down. There's the second one that will catch Roman as well. This is where Fnatic are uh, trying to kind of catch out the early game of mouse sports. Rather than you know, just leave it to the uh, the late game counters that they've been doing so far. Get right, still at the end of banana. Now, is Roman aware that Forrest is up the ladder though? Because if not, for well, they are now that those flashbacks oh, have come down. For that, uh, Forrest was a bit unlucky there. But the flash came in just as he uh, you know, jumped over. Mouse sports with 44 seconds of still to find. Any kind of kill, any hole in the defence, or make a decision as to uh, what their true plan yeah, is right gonna now. Yeah, they're going to go B here. Two still working middle. 
Morris. Yeah, here we Might go. They're going to do a split. They're going to do one yeah. of these tactics that Mouse will do. They will gamble like this. But Forrest through the wall in the head. Oh, God. Here is finally get right dropped. Ticks out. We'll move into the site. Forrest is there. Got 11 these. seconds. They can't even afford to engage in a fight here. They have to plant. Oh, that was brilliantly worked again by Fnatic. And again, you know, start off slow, but when they push back out, they just sat there. They, oh, okay, Mouse, you can play slow. Just you have to come to us anyway. And that's the problem with those rounds where you split your team up like that. When they work, they're brilliant. But when, when you get the men with the bomb damaged, then you put too, way too much pressure on your other players because basically they have only one option left and the enemy knows what that option is. This round for Mouse Sports. Going to be an eco. But you see that Fnatic have basically put that map behind them completely. They're just forgetting about that. They, for them, they have to win two maps. They've reset the tournament completely. Well, and Mouse Sports just going to waste some time. I think may, they, they might be talking during this round. Yeah. That's why you've got God being a uh, spawn. It's a good situation where he can just talk to his team. They can waste a little bit of time. Because as we've seen, those timeouts are costly in this tournament. You don't want to waste one until it's a time when you definitely need sort of that five-minute period to get some real tactics discussed. Yeah. All right now, Mouse making noise in Banana. They've run that clock down. They're going to have the uh, whole kind of time just to chat here, and then they will probably just move in and rush one area. Khan's taken one. Here they come. Forrest working it. Threat there as well as get right on Banana. And, uh, it was an easy, obviously, round for Fnatic. Hardly losing any health in the process. And they will guarantee a lead to their uh, T side. As they are now 8-1 to one up. Get right, it's 14-4. and four. The mouse spot's still looking for some answers here. You've seen, as soon as you take away the air sight from mouse sports, it becomes very difficult for them to attack. Because they will attack B, but they prefer to attack B when it's to your disadvantage, when they've rotated you over. They don't like to just attack B straight up. Yes, and there you saw go a bit aggressive, looking through the window in apartments and picking up his first frag of the round. Onto Tixo. So God B gets Tixo's position now. A threat is right there for him if he comes round. Right, not moving here either. Nor is God B. Bit of a standoff. There was God B for a split second. And he's come back into it as well. There goes DSN opening up onto six. The uh, grenades have come in actually around this middle area. Now Flashes Capio will must follow. kill DSN for this round to work. If he can't, then DSN's going to have a free chance to lock off the side of that site, as we see. Yeah, Roman is there as well. Godby has killed two, and that's a great bit of play. DSN, though, really the man that's opening up here a lot. Godby all alone, and wow. they've lined up for him, wow. and Godby's going to take it. That was incredible. Well, the early part certainly was. The late part, he got a bit lucky. Yeah, but, I mean... Know, still executed, but... Sometimes the spray spray the spray turns right. And it turned right for Gob right there. The fact that the uh, remaining two Fnatic players were stood right, one in front of the other, really helping him out, but let's not take anything away from Gob B. That was magical. But that's only the second round of the half for Mouse Sports, and they've got to turn those uh, you know, nice little moments into more rounds. Currently two of them. And that was an uncharacteristic mistake from uh, Fnatic there. Normally in that kind of situation, we'd see them slowly try and move in from opposite directions. There, they kind of rushed it a little bit. They thought, he might be low on health, let's just quickly end it now. Here we go. Tikto with Galil, working up on DSN. And that DSN smartly backs away, throws a grenade. We'll have pretty much a free kill. Kill onto uh, Roman as well, and he's... Timing uh, on the flash is perfectly suited here for Gobby, who is now probably running confidence through his veins. As he picks off threat. The remaining two players of Gobby Let's and Capio. Let's see how quickly they'll go. They're going to walk it in here. 
Capio spotted one there, but not able to do anything more about it. Luckily, he's got this smoke, so let's see if he uses it. Wow. Good double from Get Right to finish off the round. And, uh, <laughs> Fnatic will uh, bounce back after that unexpected loss that Gifted Mouse sports their second round. And we'll move to 9 2. There's still a chance here for a uh, really, really heavy Fnatic lead moving into the second half. There's four rounds to go in this first. Bail nade from Get Right. The second one was better as he tries to move in. He shoots Khan in the shoulder, but him and Khan both going at it here. And Khan actually uh, picking up another one. Get right over there with a the USP. And of course, that round simple for Fnatic as they move to double figures at 10 rounds to two. And you know, even 10 rounds, I think Fnatic would be happy with off the CT side, but they know, well, they can hit 12 13 at this current rate. And somehow you knew, no matter what had happened with Mouse Sports on that first map, that this was going to be, at the very least, a close game. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's the, the beauty of Fnatic. No matter what happens, what the map is, who they're facing, they always are able to compete somehow. And that's because they're talented in so many areas in the game. When you have that kind of versatility, you just have to figure out, okay, which, which area of our arsenal do we have to kind of unleash here? Here goes the uh, flashes and grenades for Mouse Sports as they start to work up Banana. There was a uh, grenade toss back. Probably from Get Right or Khan. Let's have a look around to that side. Yeah, Khan playing the uh, front wall position. Probably the uh, most aggressive position uh, without going through that archway. And we can see just from the scores that. Mouse haven't wanted to hit B, they've been forced to, and as a result, the B players for Fnatic are the ones racking up the kills here. Here we oh, go. what a costly Khan kill to lose. First. Doesn't even get a bullet off onto Khan. And they move in further, but still are not able to find anyone in that site. Khan's only taking a slight hit. Six needs to pull out some magic here, moving up these stairs. Which he does, he gets himself one, wow. Roman will follow around, and it's now quickly a three on three. Bombs should be planted by Tixo. And will they yes, hide? Will. They must hide, but will they hide? Because if you peek, DSN's going to get this AWP shot. Yep, right, AWP in position here. DSN brings off a couple of shots into the site. Here comes Threat and Forest. Oh, this flash. Threat double him. flash. Forest to follow them around. What will they do? Grab Roman. Uh, sorry, Roman will grab DSN. Six is down. Tixo and Roman, though, coming up big there at the end. And Mouse Huge Sports player. will move up to third, uh, up to three. And this last round for uh, Mouse Sports, or oh, sorry, the last two rounds for Mouse Sports, I should say, are uh, really, really crucial for their second half performance, I think, as they move to CT side. We know they can do a, a big CT side, but you have to feel that Fnatic, if they can pick up the last two, will at uh, 12 3 be looking to finish off early. Fnatic are flowing here. Even on that round that they lost, they used up the entire clock in the best way they could. First of all, they tried to let Mouse sort of out, um, ruin their own play by peaking. Then they got kind of the best push they could have gotten. They didn't hit the shots, but I mean, they gave themselves two chances to win in that one round. And usually that's kind of the sign that things are going your way, where even the rounds that you're losing, you're kind of you're making the right decisions. And you know that if you can just keep that up, you're going to win in the long run. Current crawl from Mouse Sports. And see, Mouse Sports are just forced to go B every time, and they just haven't managed to get that B. Aside from that round, it just hasn't looked good so far for them. They haven't been able to get the smokes on properly. They've been killed by people like Forrest and get right through walls or spam. And here we are again, before they can even get into the site. Yeah, they have taken a fair bit of damage, but the double smokes are in place, and that's important now. Now, one man to the good, and if they can really have a lockdown on this site, this round is going to be theirs. I think aggressive positions are going to be what can win them this round. A lot of counter flashes here. And six is in one of them. Yep. Here is the aggressive push from six. Six Threat must stay alive here. Threat has killed Capio. Forrest and Threat are the last two players. Forrest has got one, still hanging back, not pushing into the site just yet. Threat will be, but that clock is ticking, and Fnatic are going to save their weapons for this final round of the first half. And now Sports are, of course, going to move up to four. 
And uh, they, they all survived there with, like, nothing. Oh, no, they all died even in the end. And the overlay showed they were still alive, but that will be 10-4. And 10-5 for Mouse, I think, would they be really happy with after everything? Everything considered, yep. I mean, this is not a round where they've had five solid um, attacks on any site. So just to take five rounds exactly. out of it, I, that's, that's kind of salvaging from what has overall been a kind of lackluster terrorist performance from Mouse here. There's Get Right with an AWP. But one thing's for sure, if Mouse Sports are going to win this in two maps, we're going to need something either at the kind of magical level of yesterday's overtime game or above it. Mouse going to make the entrance into the up, into the uh, netted site. Forrest has had, after he got the kill... The threat is under the wooden area. Yeah, they were pretty much counting on that one, I think. Because there is DSN. Oh, a second away from six. that shot. Bomb thrown up here by six. This is a good position for Mouse Sports to win this round. All they have to do is hide in the site and do not peek. Khan doesn't want to let him uh, get the bomb plant in at all, which he won't achieve. Does God B know that Khan is in that little pit? Get right, he's going to move around. Will God B stay hidden? Here we go. Get right moving in from mid right. There is Get Right, he will be sprayed down, but it's now a one versus one. Gobby versus Khan, and Gobby will take it. And it's a 10-5 half-time scoreline. And yeah, I I really do think that, uh, you know, the happiness factor will be with Mouse Sports right now after managing five rounds, because let's be truthful, a lot of those rounds, oh, they were finding a brick wall at every entrance. Yep. I mean, that's a half where if you, had, if, if you didn't see the score, and you weren't keeping a, a real close track, you'd think Fnatic had won 12 or 13 rounds. Certainly. And uh, now, of course, no messing here. We're going to get straight in with the restarts. And crucially, underway. we've seen Mouse Sports sort of pick up that clutch factor, and that's what won them those games in overtime and those big games that they needed on this map. Let's see then if Fnatic can uh, put this map almost out of reach of Mouse Sports, or whether Mouse will bring us back to, uh, you know, 10-8 maybe, or a 10-7 at least, without having uh, too much of a resistance. Pen we all remember course. that it was Gob B with some really, really start. great timing that got them this CT half the other game when they needed it. Oh, they've done well to get uh, six there while they were flashed. Here is Capio on the site. Oh, Roman's going to flash perfectly here. Yeah, that will force Fnatic yeah, away. They have to go back now. No way they can go for that. DSN and now God B, and let's Khan. see if he's going to hide at all. If he hides, he's probably going to get a shot onto the guy who runs right in the site here. There is God B, pulling back, wondering oh, if Khan's he's right below him. He doesn't know if he's been spotted here, but he will have now, but still takes the head off Khan. And there is Roman onto DSN from the uh, CT archway for Mouse Sports to pick up Pistol, and the comeback is on. And now an important factor for Mouse could be, can you stop Fnatic from planting the bomb on this eco? If you can, then you're really going to open up that third round to potentially winning that too. 10 to 6. Let's see what Fnatic are planning here. It is an eco for them. Aid's not doing any uh, real damage at the start. Fnatic are going to work down middle. Is someone on that one side of mid? No, it's just Roman who's going to uh, come into contact with a lot of Fnatic players here. Capio working it as well. There's Roman. And Fnatic now backed away. Capio wants a bit of the action and he will get a bit. And it's now at Forest. If we can get around to him. Yeah, there he is. He's just going to go flying out the side. He was uh, knowing that he wasn't going to pick up anything uh, in that round whatsoever. So kind of just jumped out there, say hello, as we hit 10 rounds to seven. Fnatic still leading, but getting closer and closer. What's crucial for Fnatic is not to get too caught up in the individual rounds. What they need to be thinking of is we just need six out of the next 13. So we need half. Let's just get a couple of a couple of strategies that are working, and then figure out the right times to use them. 
They can afford to lose rounds. They just have to win one every two, essentially. Aids into Forest Threat and DSN. Knocking them down a little a bit low. Roman there. This, is, this is, of course, a buy round for Fnatic. This is an important one in their overall picture. And to lose versus farm asses like this is going to be really costly. Because those AKs, that's a much better weapon, obviously. So, I mean, this was a chance for Fnatic to get back. Get some of that lead back and start pushing it out. Still only one kill for Fnatic this half. Smoke down. That's a mouse spot smoke. Yeah, right, not knowing exactly where the Germans are hiding. And Mouse Sports playing this one smart now. They've got the opening two. Now they're sitting back. Here's Get Right. Gob B is going to be in a good position to kill Khan if he runs out of this apartment. There's Capio as well, who's pushed up middle a little bit. He's going to have men coming in towards him. He clipped Khan. But Khan's going to go hunting for the frag. Six gets Get Right. The time is really against oh, Fnatic right now, 20 trouble. seconds. Yeah, the bomb is with threat, but let's watch Tixo because he's on the actual site itself as Gob B will go down. Here comes one, Tixo will be sprayed out and it's now all left onto Capio. And this round was definitely mouse sports as for the taking. Capio two on one, threat and Khan. Yep, that was a very similar costly health to peak Capio. There. Where are these two Fnatic players? Capio. Looking around. There's another for Mass for him. He's going to take a look around to middle, but you can expect that man maybe to have moved. He did kill Khan, but threat peaked out from Balcony. And Fnatic will take the third round in this half to go up 11 7. And Mass Sports maybe now feeling this game is a little bit out of reach, maybe. I mean, we saw when Mass Sports are good and Gob B's playing well. He's decisive in when he chooses his timing. That was one of the moments when he really did not need to peek. He peeked twice, missed the guy who was running from the um, library area, and then it was that peek onto the guy who was coming from the right side of middle. That was so costly there. Let's see if Fnatic can turn this one into a 2-2 uh, second half score line. Especially holding for masses, you do not want to get it even numbers when you've got for mass and they've got AK. Gobby's going to have a peek here. Gobby could do a lot of damage to Fnatic because he is going to go out there. He does get himself one. He spotted a second actually moving just uh, back towards the underpass. And look at those grenades and spray through the wall. Gobby lucky to get out with uh, 40 health, I think. After all that. Get right is, of course, down for Fnatic. And it looks like the Swedes are maybe going to go for a B-site hit. is on beat for the Germans. Will Capio peak at all here? It's going to be Capio who will go down without a fight. And that's bad news for Mouse now. But not all bad. They're going to go in for it. Roman here from Banana. Sleeps four on four. Now less as DSN gets one of his own. Positions given away there by the uh, flashes coming over, but Gobby and Tixo, yeah, they've run away here. Or at least are trying to. Gobby got shot in the back. Tixo going to take some damage as well as all three remaining Fnatic guys come running out. And they will make it 12-7, four away from giving us a third and final map, which would be Tuscan, by the way. This is looking good for Fnatic here. I'll be interested to see if they're going to try and hit that B-site some more now. Because when you do that, you can see that Mouse Sports, they, they don't like to aggressively push in there. They hope they can blind you with their flashes and then kind of angle shoot. I think B's been the weak site so far for Mouse, to be honest. And uh, of course, they are on the eco, so Fnatic looking like they'll move up to 13 unless something goes terribly wrong. And if Fnatic have been watching the demos, they'll have seen that. They'll have seen all the magic for mouse spots happens when people attack the apartments on the right side of mid. Yeah. Yeah, right, Tixel so and Capio are in a good position here to, if they just hold and don't peek to actually get a kill onto uh, someone moving up the right side. Let's see if they'll hold now. 
so partially blind, but you can still see these men coming through. He does get the oh, kill onto one of them. Forest. God be up there. I think Forrest actually ran out of bullets there as he was firing onto him. And Threat will finish the job. And that is 13-7. Fnatic leading. can hear a bit more noise from the Fnatic camp when they uh, are winning these rounds, which is a good sign, I think. Now we see Fnatic looking to move up to that important 14th round, which would mean then Marsport's having to win every single round to win without an overtime. Boost, boost to middle, I guess that's six. Uh, sorry, Tixo, it's up there. Yeah, we've seen him play that position against SK a lot yesterday. Yeah, but and this is a nice little boost, but I mean, obviously, they're going to need the Fnatic players to actually come up the middle for it to be at all useful. And in fact, oh. it has worked against Mouse before because sometimes they want to keep that man up there for the height advantage, but then they don't rotate him over to B in time. Well, that was a good opening move from Fnatic. Nades came in through Arch. Wall spam was caught six down to around 20, I guess. Yeah, 21. And this could help because Get Right's going to peek out, so Tixel better have his aim trained on that middle now. Tixel just keeping his back With that smoke, this will be a free kill if Get Right comes out. Get Right is right there. Here comes the flash. Tixo, I'm not sure he's how blind right he is. At him. Oh. Uh, actually, the push here from Get Right will be flashed up by the defenders deep inside of that B bomb site. Roman will take the head off Get Right. Here's Roman looking for a little bit more special as well, but he'll be gunned down by Forrest, who then loses his life to Capio. This is a very back and forth round. Oh, he's planting right in the open here, but Six is not going to attack. On in the site. Six. Six knows where he is. He's aimed right on him. He knows exactly where he is. Will he fire, though? Here he comes, amazing. and Six will get the kill. We saw two little moments there of amazing game sense. Get right, either had studied and knew that Tixel liked to be boosted on that spot. He came out looking right at him. And then Six right there. Aside from half a second, he was just trained on him through the wall the whole time. I think we have to be a little bit careful in those 1v1 situations because I noticed it's like no, you could probably drop a pin and hear it in here. So okay, I'm pretty sure they're far too focused to it and listen to what crap we're throwing out of our mouths. But you know, well to be fair, he was already looking at him when we yeah. said it. Yeah, he was. I mean, it would have been kind of bad if we just said, and if he was just to look behind that box. And then he looks yeah. at it and gets a kill. Yeah. But yeah. 13 eight it is, and Marsport's not out of this, but. Let's be fair, it's not a, uh, an easy comeback that they can uh, expect here. Ooh, that was that great grenade, grenade is pretty bad. Get right, He's still edging around here. And he took a uh, bit of that blast from the grenade earlier on. Our sport's down to three and a half men, let's say, with Roman. Well below half. That would be a really bad TV show. Our sports <laughs> has three and a half men. God B is Charlie Sheen. Six needs to get this first kill for Mouseports to have a chance here. Oh, he looks away. Looks away. And will he flash for no reason here? here oh, well, six. that worked. Perfectly done. We'll now flash out to the, uh, the opposite side. And Fnatic had had a man in A as a distraction. And he's held Gobby over there. That's another thing they might have seen from demos, that Gobby likes to stay if he sees anyone there at all. So four on three now, and this is very doable for Mouseport, but... They must go next together kill. here. The next they, kill is so oh, important. Oh, look at those two kills. There we go. It's now 1v1. Gob versus Get Right, and Get Right is much lower. He's going to use all the here time up go. by going behind him. Now Gobby has to defuse. Will get right. God, he's going to get, get it. In here. He's, he's got gonna it. Get this. Oh, oh get Lord right's going to take him. Incredible timing there by Get Right. I wonder if he was counting in his head. I did very much imagine so in uh, that kind of situation. That will be the 14 rounds. I mean, that's such fanatic. a dangerous situation. If he literally runs in half a second too late, imagine how embarrassing that would be. 
of shame there for but once uh, you've Gobby. got once you've got your man that close on the timer he's never going to let go no uh, exactly so, i mean brilliant work overall oh, now mouse are in real trouble yeah they're on an eco now mouse as well and you know once they uh, hit this 15 rounds fanatic you can say are pretty much guaranteed to take this map fanatic aren't going to commit to any area you know now that that eco is in place and here comes dsn to uh, try and mop up where's last man it is six will come down banana khan will hit him and that is map point fanatic and uh, looking like we're going to be hitting that third map of tuscan here and in the next few rounds it's fanatic only needing that one of course, this is the grand final of the Intel Extreme Masters European Championships, if you're just joining us. And it was Mouse Sports who won the first map on Nuke. And they're looking to, uh, well, probably lose out on this second one, but Tuscan the third one. We can uh, break that down and talk about that a little bit later after we're all done here on Inferno. Well, let's not count well, We need some fast kills here. BSN is going to push up towards Gobby's position with threat. So how will God be hold this? Will he move? Flashes and smokes down on that CT archway. Carney's going to uh, watch the back here. Doesn't want anyone going in sneaky. Surely Khan's going to get that frag. He must have been very, very close. Capio working onto Forest, and it is now four and three. Advantage Mouse. Oh, God be here. He needs to get this kill here. Threat above him. The flash has come down. Oh, Gobby will step out into one of them. Actually, his teammate was there. Khan's got two. It's one versus one again. Khan versus six. He hasn't played there immediately. Six. Oh, oh, and six is going to take him. And Mouse Sports giving themselves a glimmer of hope here. 15-9. And six, six had, in a row. And six had been almost completely absent on that terrorist side. Yeah. But, I mean, as we saw in those games... In that overtime game, he just kind of came to life when they needed him. Six in a row after six gets the kill. Is it just coincidence or is it fate? <laughs> in a game of numbers, it's probably more of a coincidence, I'd say. Here's Fnatic looking to uh, seal the deal and not let Mouseports get too clever about what's going on. DSN down to 18 points of health after that little... Uh, <sighs> Roman spoiling the party after that little uh, exchange, I was going to say. Before Roman broke in. Get right, DSN and can't. Remain for Fnatic. Five on three. Tixo still watching the middle area. Capio will go around to uh, back up that B site. All is quiet once again here for Fnatic. Got 50 seconds still remaining, so yeah, they've had a minute of the round, but they're going to attack Roman's position here. Yeah. And again, he's going to take that risky little peek where you don't have your gun out. And now he knows they're there. Flash came around from his teammates, and here comes Roman taking the peek. He gets one and done a big dent into uh, DSN's armor there. Roman, they will make it two. And they don't know he's under the wooden three. Yeah. And they <laughs> will be God B who steals it at the end. But yeah, DSN was concerned about that man under the wood. And that will be 15 10. Five more in a row for Mouse Sports to give us an overtime. We've seen some great from us work here to keep them in this game. Yes. Lots of clenched clench fists over at the uh, Mouse Sports lineup. And you have to remember, this is one of the things about Counter-Strike 1.6. Before 1.6, there was no FAMAS. So in these rounds, you were either going Colt, no armor, or you were going armor uh, and a USP in flashes. So this is, this is another facet of the game that kind of developed over the years that's made it more interesting. That's why you have so many close games nowadays between these top teams. Fanatic Eco and chat round. Right now. Yeah, this is a good idea for Fnatic. Bearing in mind, even if they win this map, they're going to need a third map, so they don't want to use this time out too soon. Especially on Tuscan, they have no idea how mouse spots are going to perform on that map. Currently, currently we uh, 
have like we said Fnatic on the eco and Roman's going to flash them just along on that ramp here's Capio and they're lined up at least two of them for him there's three will he get the final one no <laughs> Tixo will team kill him that's like Tixo I want to kill but Roman will get around for him and that will be 15-11 four to go looking down at the scoreboard Khan 10 and 9 Roman 12 and 7 Capio 10 and 8 Score 6 5 in this second half, and of course, those four would uh, give each side a 10 5 half. Let's see if Fnatic go back to attacking A now, uh, B rather, because we've seen all these attacks on, on A, and we've seen Mouse Sports again doing some incredible stuff at A. Fnatic's opening on this third uh, round. And then, whoa, three grenades down early. Oh, and God B's going to try and use this smoke to his advantage. I suppose they'll probably be annoyed to know that none of that actually uh, hit in there. Those three grenades. Could have been big for them, though. Flashes into B. And they've committed. They're going fully into B here. Yep, six oh, is going to be shot. there at the back. Forest is Crucial down. That's shot. a big frag. DSN using the uh, corner play and that smoke to try and pick off one. This is where Mouse have gone too slow in the past. Will they speed it up a little bit? They know the oh. urgency here. Six Get right. has got one. It's an exchange. It's four to four on three. Khan at half health. What can they do here? Fnatic holding on. 20 seconds until the bomb explodes. Khan is dead. Threat is still hanging around. Threat will go down. It's now all on DSN and Roman wow. will pick him. The defuse will come in for Mouse Sports. And they bring it back to a three round difference. And the biggest frag so of the close. whole round there was God B killing Get Right, who was about to sneak behind them from CT spawn. And we saw the way Mouse wanted to hold there. So if he'd have gotten round, that probably would have been the difference. Three more rounds for Mouse Sports. And three more rounds for Fnatic to take just one of them. But with this kind of momentum that they built up again, I mean. It almost feels like Mouse Sports can do this. I'd say so. It feels kind of 50 50 as to whether they're going to right now. Despite the fact that Fnatic only oh, need one good round. Oh, they got it this time. Those three grenades, Ma uh, Fnatic weren't oh, expecting it two in a row. Six will be here with the AWP. Forrest is a bit annoyed, I think, at what's happened in these last two rounds, and they will push around. Six is now dead. Who is in that site for Mouse Sports as well? Surely it's holding the box. No one else? No one else. Bomb is planted. Oh, and DSN is holding a tight angle there. Two men in an injured forest. What will Mouse Sports do? They will force their way in with DSN being dropped first. Threat's going to take that box at the back. Let's watch Forest here well, he because he's up. the man. 16 HP. Roman will take his head off. It's now all on Threat who sprays down Capio. Roman and Tixo, and it will be Tixo to get the frag. Roman will defuse, and Mouse Sports bring it to 15-13. Now Sports have to play Ooh. flawless, and at the moment they are playing flawless. Money can't be good for Fnatic. It's so difficult to retake that site when you've got players who, if they want, can just hold those boxes and force you to rush in after them. But we're seeing Mouse Sports. They're, they're, at the moment, it's sort of a picture-perfect example of how you regroup and then go in as a team. 15, 13 it is, as Six will again take the first man. He's lost a lot of his own health. Mass Sports are rotating around there really quick. That's a brash decision, actually. And if Six misses Mavs. one of these shots, you have to feel Fnatic finally gets the 16th round they need. Yeah. Godby's position could be uh, influential in this round as well. You know, it's the way he exploits the smoke there. He never just sits directly behind the main part of the smoke. He sits so that... He can't, his opponent can't see him because he's not moving, but he will see the shimmer as the opponent moves through it. Yeah. That's a vital way you defensively use the smoke. It's usually seen by AWPers, but we're seeing God B use it here to lock off that entire apartment. Khan has killed Capio. That's a vital refrag for Fnatic. Question is... Tixo wants to peek in go? this window room here. They're going to go B. Fnatic are in, actually, onto this uh, banana site. Six is possibly going to kill the bomb planter here. Oh, what a flash. Oh, we'll move around the back. Roman is dead. Fnatic get now three frags away from picking up the victory here in the second map. And this looks terrible for mouse spots with how far away they are. Bomb is planted. Six needs really to hit some kind of miraculous shot here. 
Threat's going to die, surely. No, he's at 3 HP and he will kill God B. That's got to be the uh, frag that's going to win it all. DSN will finish and Fnatic will take the second uh, second map. 16 to 13 and Mass Sports will probably be gutted after that one. That was such Mass a long Sports comeback. Three rounds away from IEM European Championship Finals 4. Just, you know, the, the whole drain of that kind of comeback. Yeah is uh, probably going to work in favor of Fnatic moving forward. But, you know, Fnatic themselves will be under a bit of pressure after, you know, losing round after round after round after round after round after round after round, actually, technically, in terms of numbers. Um, and, you know, they're probably now going to uh, have a bit of a breather because I, I think that's a difficult match to play when you're so close to victory and you can see your opponent coming back at you all the time. Uh, but for now, obviously, we're going to go over to a quick break. But when we come back... As ever, it will be more Counter-Strike and it will be the third map, the decider map between Mouse Sports and Fnatic here on DE Tuscan. Don't go anywhere. Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. Welcome back to ESL TV and of course we're moving in now to the third and final matchup here of the Intel Extreme Masters European Championships Counter-Strike 1.6 final between Fnatic and Mouseports. Oh, that was a mouthful. So, Thorin, uh, the two teams are uh, taking a little bit of a break. Uh, yeah, Fnatic aren't there, Mouseports aren't there. Um, so it's, you know, gives a little bit of time to talk about Tuscan, which is, I think, a bit of an unknown quantity in this matchup. Definitely. I mean, the thing with Tuscan is... It's a map that can be very streaky, no matter who's playing it. And with the way these two teams have played both of the maps that we do know quite well, their performances on, I mean, it's tough to even know where to begin with who's going to have the strength um, in terms of either side on this map. I mean, we saw in that game before, we, even the result could have had totally different effects. Like, Fnatic could be totally drained that they had to give every ounce of energy just to win their map. Yeah. And yet at the same time, Mouse sports could be crushed, knowing that, for example, I mean, will God B be thinking now, like, why did I peak early? If I do that, maybe we win that game. I mean, these things can work yep. for or against him. And it tends to be purely within the heat of the moment, whose kind of minds and what, what kind of state is it in? And I think right now, it's pretty much... Uh, I, think, I think actually right now, despite the fact I think maybe Tuscan could be good for Mouse... 
I think they they even if they've kind of talked it through and they think that they're in a good situation, I think they are going to be thinking in the back of their minds like we were three rounds away from winning this whole thing there. Yeah. And definitely. now they've got 16 to take again. Yeah, this is definitely a hard situation for, uh, for I think, more for mouse sports, just judging by the fact that a lot of energy went into that little comeback there at the end. And they were so close in the end, actually. Two rounds, obviously, away from uh, bringing us into an overtime. Uh, but at least they're going to get like a, uh, a couple of minutes to have a bit of a break now. I uh, can't see either team now because they've barricaded them off. Um, so I don't even know if they're back or anything uh, here at the moment, but they're certainly uh, not on the server. And it is worth pointing out in these kinds of situations, Fnatic have played so many finals over the years that if anyone's going to have the endurance training for this, it's those guys. So I think in yeah. their minds, even though they did have to put a lot of energy into getting that win, in their minds they're thinking now, okay, reset the scores completely, one map, that's all we have to play for to win. Yeah. So I mean, I don't think they're going to be that worried. I mean, they've completely forgotten about Nuke at this point. I think, I mean, Tuscan for them is going to be a good map. I mean, I can only guess that actually it came down to Fnatic choosing between the last two maps to play, actually. Yeah. Um, I, I guess Mouse Sports will have not train out, uh, first of all. Yep. And they don't want to play Mouse and Dust, too. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, that's that's a great thing for them. And as Six said, and I actually spoke to Khan about that um, the other day, um, about Tuscan, that Six said, yeah, just because we're German doesn't mean we're gods on Tuscan. And that could really work in favor of Fnatic if they've you know, looked a lot at the Tuscan game and practiced a bit of Tuscan themselves. I think that Fnatic may be uh, just the ones to have this match here. But again, it's going to be close. It's got to be close after what we've seen so far. And didn't we see Fnatic play, was it Kirschnet on um, Tuscan? No, they played Oxmos on Tuscan. Ah, okay, yeah. They won 16-7, I think. That and was we their saw final matchup. Well, we saw a lot of orping from them, wasn't it? Yeah. And th the thing is, we, we had Khan here watching the uh, Tuscan game in the... What match was it now? Relegation match. Yeah. He did the re two relegations. It wasn't the Kirschnet game. It was the other game. It the was, Oxmoors it versus was uh, Ravens. Exactly. Was it? No, Oxmoors yeah. versus... Yeah, Ravens. Yeah, Ravens. Um, and, you know, Khan had a lot to say there on different positions. And thing. I think Khan's really uh, studied up Tuscan and decided how, you know, mouse sports are going to go... are going to play in this one. I think he knows that... You know, Mars are going to be confident in a way that they've played a lot of Tuscan over the years, but also unconfident in a way that they know Fnatic know that they're not the greatest. Yeah, I mean, Tuscan's a site which, for a strat caller, can be um, kind of ideal if you've got good offensive players like Khan has, because there's so many different ways you can attack these sites, and because of the ways they're attack, you can attack the sites even when you don't choose to use them. Like if you don't choose to push someone through the sewers area. The uh, CTs in the site are always going to be wary of that, so it's kind of it's taking a little bit of their focus off the other areas. You can see there the uh, Fnatic players all back and uh, getting ready to play this third and final map, Mouse Sports as well. Looks like we're just waiting for uh, Gob B to take a seat. And don't forget, as I said a little bit earlier on, we have this here mouse pad. Yeah, it's massive, and uh, it's actually signed by the whole SK uh, lineup, and it was used by Face in this tournament as well. So uh, it even maybe smells a little bit of Face. So if you go to uh, Facebook forward slash ESL TV, you can uh, have a chance at winning that. And of course, also we uh, had the little competition on uh, Twitter a little bit earlier on. If you want to uh, follow us, IAM TV on Twitter. What do you think about Rockat Sota pads? Well, we, uh, you know, we were giving away the uh, Rockat Sota that was, of course, uh, signed by the SK lineup again on uh, on Facebook. Plus, we've got some of the uh, Intel Extreme Masters posters signed by uh, a couple of the lineups as well. There we go. And, uh, I'm being told as well that we're going to have a, uh, a Rockat or two Rockat Sota pads that will be uh, signed by both sides as well. So. Plenty of giveaways here from the European finals. And uh, as you know, Carney, if you've been following us on uh, Facebook, and you know he's been giving away some uh, premium accounts there as well. So we wait for that fifth man from uh, Mouse Sports. God B, taking a quick toilet break. Actually, he's there. I can see him. He's back. He's just not in the server. 
Oh, there he is. And then we'll get the knife. So, you know, we've, we've talked a little bit um, about Tuscan itself and then between the two teams. But, I mean, sidewise, um, according to the stats that we uh, pulled from HLTV.org regarding the uh, Intel Extreme Masters European Championships online season, um, we actually see that 50-50 is exactly the uh, kind of percentages of the two sides on this map. So I, I think it's going to be really hard to call who's going to uh, do well on which side here. As you mentioned uh, in a previous game, uh, Fnatic managed to do a 12-0 T side. Um, and uh, whatever you say, this match is going to be up in the air and I'd be expecting a close matchup. It's got to be. It's got to be. And we now have all 10 members. So let's get the uh, knives in. Yeah, here come the restarts. So third and final map will get underway with a knife very shortly. And if there's going to be any kind of carryover for Mouse, I'm going to be looking for how well Six is playing. Because if he's playing well straight off the bat, then perhaps even losing that game on overtime helped them kind of wake him up and get him into the floor things. Whereas if he's gone to sleep again for them, this is going to be difficult for Mouse Sports. Well, they are going to uh, knife down the former kitty side, let's call it. We're talking about Mill. And this is a standoff knife round. The last time we saw Fnatic knife on Inferno, they were uh, a bit more aggressive about things. Uh, at the moment, it's looking like mouse boards are tit uh, til well, tilting the favour. And they will do. And they will pick things up. And mouse boards are going to stick on T side, so uh, they're favoring Terrorist for the start of this third and final map. What are you expecting to see from uh, Mouse Sports in terms of you know, their strategies? Are you expecting an aggressive Mouse Sports here? Um, I don't think you're gonna see an aggressive Mouse Sports at all. In fact, I think, I think Inferno is kind of a good reference point here, because what you're gonna see from Mouse Sports is unless they're going to surprise us and do some kind of uh, heavy flashing rushes on A, which we saw from alternate attacks. Yeah. If they're not going to do that, then I think you're going to see a lot of the uh, fake and switch mouse sports, where they'll go to one area, they'll push right up to the point where any other team would be committed, but then they're going to pull back. So I think that's what we're going to see as, as kind of the default strategy for mouse sports here. But then again, maybe they want to kind of wind Fnatic and just come straight out of the gate all guns blazing, hit those sights hard, knowing that Fnatic are going to be thinking that it's going to be the slow and steady mouse sports. I mean, if ever there's a time to do it, this is when to do it. So Fnatic versus mouse sports, third final matchup. Of course, the winner takes home $25,000 and also a first place check and the shield that's on our uh, table right here. Maybe I'll steal it before the end of this matchup and I'll get to keep it instead. Here's Mouse Spot setting up for a push into this A site. And An aggressive hold here quick. from uh, oh. the Fnatic players. They're going to be quick on the rotation here, coming up middle. Big hits already. And through that smoke, you've got, a, I think, a very nice angle to be shooting from, actually, down towards Kitty, wherever you are in this site. Oh, and look at this position. DSN is going to come quickly up the Kitty here with Forrest. And there is Forrest getting himself one. DSN will join in, and Fnatic... <laughs> Not losing a single man. And they sounded a little bit like old school Macho Man Randy Savage there. Well, Coming off the top turnbuckle. Maybe got a, uh, a right to be sounding as cool as that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> as cool as Randy Savage. And uh, of course, they didn't lose a single man in that one. So Pistol to Fnatic. We've seen them play Tuscan here on ESL TV before, which resulted in a um, 16 to 1 victory against Roskilde Ravens. 16 to 1, the second map. Yeah. Easy one. Right now, Mouse sitting back and waiting for Fnatic to be making the moves. And we saw, similar to that pistol round, the key for Fnatic in that game was being aggressive so that if the other team were going to be hesitant, or in Mouse Sports case, methodical and slow, then it means you completely find out early on, okay, which areas are they loading over then? And then you can get aggressive and kind of just hold them and contain them in one area. Because as we've seen, Mouse Sports is very good when you don't contain them, so they have free reign to just change and go to different areas of the map. Here come Mouse Sports. Get Right's got a great position to hold off this fight. And, uh, they did have two men coming actually through the, uh, through the door from the sewers. 
Get right, got uh, get got killed before he could pick anything up, and this is a good deagle round. But the bomb is stuck behind the box. And on Forrest the side. is still alive, and that's a big hit, a big thing for them as Roman only has five points of health. His deagle headshots have got to come quick and clean, otherwise he's going to be dead. And here comes Khan around the corner to pick it up. Fanatic, a little bit different to their uh, pistol round, which was uh, completely without loss. A bit of a shaky second round there with uh, the deagle round from Mouse Sports, but it won't matter too much to them. I think, though, looking at Mouse Sports, it's deagles again. A pretty solid round from Mouse Sports there. I mean, they had a couple of shots that missed that if they'd have hit them on the guys more towards middle, would have basically completely turned the round the opposite way. So it would have been one fanatic guy going against the bomb planted and two guys kind of cross-fired. Mouse Sports again holding back. And K Six is going to sneak through the sewers with his deagle. Sewer man. Let's see if he can uh, achieve a bit more this round from the uh, from that lower push. Here comes an aggressive little uh, move down cap from Get Right. The uh, counter nades oh, coming around. The 180 Six is dead. There. They're in on this site, and there's an M4 being picked up. Tixo will get one. Now it's Roman and Tixo. What's for, oh, Tixo still with a deagle. There was an M4 down around DSN's there. DSN's moving up behind them. Yeah, and as uh, Tixo actually got the bomb out there to plant, he's taken a hit. Oh, Roman's got the M4, though. This could be dangerous for Fnatic. DSN actually... with 16 health, and they know yeah. exactly where he is. Mouse Sports might even be right just to hold here. Now, do not peek if you're Mouse Sports here. They don't know Khan's going round, that they've swapped positions, but all the same, if they peek at all, this is very dangerous. Yeah, Khan really has to come up big here for Fnatic, and Roman will take his head off. And it's now all oh, on DSN, takes down Tixo, can he find Roman? Roman will have him. Huge round. Third round going to Mouse Sports, and that was all about Roman. And he risked it all by rushing out there, yeah. but I mean... I'm guessing he knew because he'd seen how many shots they'd put on to DSN. He knew DSN had no armor because he had the USP. Yeah. And then he knew that he only had to hit him once or maybe twice. So calculated aggression there. Great stuff from uh, Roman. And that puts Mouse Sports right back in contention on their terrorist side. The question is, how will they play it from this point? And with all those kills on the second round, and getting the bomb down, this is a fairly even situation right now. Who's got an AWP? <laughs> Deagles and Farmhouse. DSN has for, got uh, an AWP. Deagles and Farmhouse is for Fnatic here. This is an interesting semi buy from them. Oh, that's right, they've that got an AWP for DSN there. So one person must have spent all of his off. cash and then the rest have just bought. It's got to pay off from DSN now. And it has so far. Yeah. Now Tixo and Roman again. But again, all it's going to take is this one kill. Any of the three Fnatic players go down, and all of a sudden, Mouse Sports are back in the driving seat. Roman is going to sneak through the sewers. And just for clar clarification, that again is a mill-based reference, because I don't really know what you'd call this position otherwise. Underground. Or something. Right. This is a good idea. Threat watching Kitty. DSN here. I mean, I mean the flash yeah. has come. Forrest is going to be there, but they've got a good chance to kill Threat and then get in on this site. And DSN is all the way over at the other. There we go. There's the first kill. Forrest has to make this count. Yeah, Forrest must come up big. Oh, and that smoke and flash. flash. What a good top. combination. It's hit Tixo, but Forrest has no way of knowing that. But will tried. Roman peak this time? I think he's going to because he kind of feels like his aim's on. But if DSN can just hold that spot. Forrest is going for the deagle rather than... AK looking for the first kills and he will take the first head. Oh, DSN the same situation again, but f f uh, Roman goes through the door. Does he? Is he going to use the AWP against DSN here? Because there's too much time left. Oh, he's seen his gun through the door there. That's, they've won. Mass Sports have won this round. And Roman will peak as well. Gets himself an AWP, and six has been on his feet two times in two rounds.
And when we consider that if Mouse Sports had gone out in that group stage, everyone would be saying, what happened to Roman? What, what about this big transfer? I mean, at yeah. this point, he's got a chance to kind of make himself the kind of legend we all thought maybe he could be in some of those alternate teams. All right, now proving he's certainly uh, worth it. And we saw him yesterday on Dust2 against SK as well. When it really matters, yeah, Roman proven, stepped up. He's proven right now that he's a big game player. And that's kind of the factor that Mars Sports have been missing this last year or so. Here's an eco from Fnatic. Of course, that last round, a bit of a random biop, I have to say. And uh, they were counting on DSN's AWP, which picked up, I think, three kills, but wasn't, in the end, anywhere near enough. Interesting choice by Fnatic because they're known to kind of play... They're so good, they kind of play standard in their terms of how they buy. So they decided, okay, we're going to take a little risk and sort of bring it to Mouse. Because yeah. if we win this round, I mean, it's going to completely throw Mouse Sports off. And they almost did, but we saw that uh, when, when you do buy an AWP like that and you're the last in a 1v1, then uh, you just can't hold back like that. Here we go then. Mouse Sports looking to take a 4-2 advantage. And it looks like Mouse Sports want to hit the right side of the map this time. With Capio specifically waiting to kill someone flanking. Mouse Sports had a little bit of a uh, peek up middle, or alt middle as it is really. Fnatic sitting right back, and Mouse Sports not obviously uh, playing fast whatsoever in this uh, first half on their T side. And after killing one of the uh, Fnatic players, that's that's definitely the the way forwards. Now they look to split the map in two. Boost up on the box maybe here for Tixo. Maybe not. They're just going to go and aim it out. Aim it out. And it will work out perfectly for them. Tixo. Yep, and Fnatic are going to try and save their guns. Yeah, Forrest sitting back here. Roman See, that's also what, one of the beautiful things about playing it slow like that once you get the pick. Since DSN is playing the other site with an AWP, even if you get in that situation where it's kind of like a 2v2 with a bomb planted. You know that he doesn't have the same kind of mobility that a, the player from the other site would have had with a Colt. Yeah. And you're almost daring him to save his gun each time this time, this way around. Yes, and keeping eyes out. But he's not going to uh, be found here towards the end of the round. Forrest either. And they will keep a hold, but Mouse Sports have a 4-2 lead. And Roman is leading the way at 12 and 3. Great, great stuff from Roman so far. Of course, yesterday, Mouse Sports had their backs to the wall in a double overtime match against SK, and then the second map, they really took hold of things. Maybe today it's the third map that they'll take hold of it. But either way, the way Mouse Sports have played here have shown that this transfer of Roman made a big difference to the lineup. Good early pick from DSN. Six starting to move across. I think he's clipped. Yeah, Khan there. Get right with a big kill more. there. Tixo is going to attack DSN's position, it looks like. <coughs> Flashes down into Banana from DSN. Not sure if he knows if anyone's actually there or not, but... Yeah, six is the closest one. This is and the, whether they've read it from knowing what Fnatic will do, this is the right attack here from Mouse. Oh, the giving himself a good miss. chance of getting this bomb down. DSN misses two shots there, and that will be uh, very crucial, I think. Forrest coming in now. The speed he uses is going to be crucial. He decides to go up at the top way. Oh, well, they've got to get right from behind as well. Will he get a free kill here? Tixo is going to be instrumental as well. Taking the right decision, I think, Tixo. Coming behind Fnatic on this upper area. There is Tixo. Misses his shots, but he's got a grenade. And Get Right's surely going to go down to it. No, he's not. He's moved off. Get Right's actually pushed away. Sprayed Roman's head off, but the round will be going to Mouse Sports as the bomb explodes. And they hit 5-2. to two. Good now, stuff. There we see again, this is, this is Mouse Sports at their best tactically. They keep attacking the A site in such a manner that it's daring 
um, Fnatic to leave DSN with his AWP at the B site all by himself. Yeah. And then when they attacked it there, it meant that Fnatic kind of, they hadn't played retaking that site yet. And we saw Forrest was kind of just a little bit off kill today. He was trying to go different places. He couldn't find anyone. And in fact, he ended up getting killed from outside the site. Fnatic Eco here. Except Get Right, of course, who uh, has that M4 that he saved from the previous round. Fnatic not wasting this opportunity. And when Mouse Sports win this round, they're going to need 10 out of the next 22 rounds to win this championship. This could be a big factor, though, giving away a gun to Forrest. Actually, I think Six may have had it covered there for a second. DSN does have that M4 that Get Right dropped earlier. And Mouse Sports working their way around now via Kitty into this A bomb site. Forrest only has 30 health. He can't afford to miss a single bullet here. Is he going to go for it? Nah. Good decision by Forrest. He can't. I mean, <laughs> Forrest couldn't apparently uh, get out of that area. Onto the boxes. There's God B. There's six. And there's Tixo. They're not hunting yet. And Mouse are more than happy to play this game where Fnatic keeps saving, they keep getting the bomb down and winning the round. Yeah, There's, they'll have no uh, kind of qualms, I think, with letting uh, those two Fnatic players really keep a hold of their weapons. Sure, they'd like to have them away, but no big deal. They're winning the rounds right now. Six to two. We've got seven remaining in the first half. And you have to feel that Fnatic really need to start coming back into this one. Fnatic cannot afford to split these last rounds. It has to be all Fnatic, otherwise they're going to be in trouble. So let's see where Gob's going to call here. Get Right is going to off down the middle. Han as well has played this uh, nice little aggressive touch down uh, alt middle. Sports, They're shows. aware that that's where Khan's playing, you can yeah. see. They haven't managed to hit him yet. And he's going to push round. Meanwhile, Threat is playing in the sewers area, and Tixo's about to come round there. Not Threat is about to hold on this sewers area as they come round this corner. Not fully quiet from Tixo either. Oh, but he's moving backwards. I wonder if he's heard anything. This is very bizarre. He seemed to have a good position there to, to possibly get the kill on them, unsuspecting. And now Tixo and knows Now he's opened the door, yeah. Someone's coming in or this someone's going out. This could end up costing out. threat big time here, because he's not going to be looking through this door when Tixo comes through. And they will get him. That was great play from Mouse Sports. And the forest oh. is in the spot to get the kill on Tixo, though. Maybe a little uh, situational there, but they won't mind too much. Forrest down. Get right with an AWP will be blinded. And we'll have to back away. But look at DSN, leaving it all wow. on Roman. And by the time the flashes have cleared, DSN has mopped up and made it three in that round for him. A nice little hat trick. Very big round after that. After they got that entry onto threat, you had to wonder if Mouse were going to overrun that site there. Especially with Get Right kind of just hopping around with an AWP, not really being able to do anything. Yeah. Huge play from DSN. And we've actually seen that in the latter part of 2009. DSN's re-emerged as a player who's able to get a lot of kills with his rifles again. Yeah, I agree. I think it was, you know, with the, with the lineup change for 2009, I think it was extra hunger there for DSN, to be yeah. honest. I mean, he was able to get away with not having to be as good, and they would still win the titles, whereas now they need him. And when people need you, that's when you're going to give your best. This is a very good situation, though, for Mouse. They're getting in these great early round situations. And it's meaning that just for Fnatic to even s keep some kind of, keep a close distance to them, they're having to go all out and just pull out amazing rounds. And is this the beginning of one? Right, it's got one. Get right still with that all. they're off. I think they're backing away. Yeah. Get right's not going to uh, be able to go anywhere close. Threat, of course, died. Here's Get right close range onto Tixo. But he's looking to save that and not do... Uh, now, go and lose it, which he will save. But Mouse Sports, of course, will pick up the round as a whole. And are now 7 3 
in the lead at this point. Five rounds remaining. Mass Sports only need one more, of course, to guarantee themselves a lead moving into the CT side, which you know, for them, depending on how far they go in terms of uh, you know the lead, they're going to be very happy with. And unless this is some kind of tactical decision they've made as a team, I mean, this this might not be the time for Get Right to try and prove that he's a great AWPer here. Because we're seeing Mouse Spots take these sites over and he's not able to have any impact on that. And Get Right is five and six at the minute. Fire in the and I think the set up quite deep. Great nades there onto the can position. They didn't manage to do a lot of damage, but they've certainly scared him off here. Now DSN's going to try and get aggressive with his AWP. Let's see if he's going to spot someone. This will either be a headshot off the AK, or maybe he'll get his shot up. There oh, we go. Six was ready and waiting for that one. And that's huge. Because now what, hap what goes through the, he the heads of the Fnatic players in air? Do they hold? Does one of them rotate over and reduce the strength of that site? It's pick your poison time. Our sports running the clock down. We're about to hit 30 seconds, and that will be the crucial point for them to start their move. Forest is down. Off where they think the AWP is going to be. Oh, get right being sprayed down, and this is a round for Mouse Sports, no question about it. They've not even lost a single man yet. Khan has two HP. And he's hoping that he can keep this M4, but if he's spotted, he's dead unless he uh, gets a bit lucky with uh, the opponent having their back to him. And all of a sudden, Fnatic are putting themselves in a situation where they're going to need one of those incredible shot-out halves on their terrorist side. Oh, I'm desperately trying to run away. <laughs> he could hear the footsteps getting closer and closer there. And, and we've seen... Move to nine. You only have to take a quick look at the scoreboard Eight, to see the fact that not only a Fnatic not even being able to get any retakes, but I mean the guys at A are having a real trouble on this map at the moment. Of just holding in the first place. I mean Khan's tried to mix it up, he's tried to get aggressive, but he hasn't... I think at most he's only ever gotten one kill doing that. He's never been able to actually stop the mouse attack at the early part of the round. It's taking incredible late round play from the Fnatic to win any of these rounds. They're not able to stop any of the mouse attacks. Yeah, and this is an eco as well for Fnatic. It's really not working out for them. Only Forrest is six. able to do anything. And Six will get him at the end. Patrick. I think Mara Sports are... I don't know. They're feeling how close they are in a way to uh, winning this championship. And if they can take three is big. If they can take even just one of these remaining rounds, this is going to be huge. The implications for this pistol round. Let's not forget, Mouse Sports could still end up on twelve. Got B shoots out the vent. I assume uh, telling his teammates. The threat is getting get aggressive in. here. Yeah, and threat has killed one. Get right comes in from the opposite side as well. Nice little pin to movement down into that area. And we've seen again, if you want to beat Mouse Sports when they're executing well, you have to attack their early default. Yeah. That's the only way you can stop them from getting into their moves. Tixo is going to go through the sewers again. While Six pushes up the middle, are they going to time this right? If they do, he's going to get his man, he's going to get Tixo's man looking the wrong way. Get right, he's got a grenade in hand. There's a man in the house, though. Pixel's oh, gonna grenade. move, and that grenade from Get Right did kill, uh, get, did kill six. And Tixo will fall to him as well. It's now all on Roman. 1v4. Could really be a hero if he gets this one. We'll spray one. He's got a chance to smokes. plant this bomb. Yeah, yeah smokes here. are down in a good position, but it was Roman against Get Right. Get Right came out spraying. And that's the uh, fourth round for Fnatic. 9 to 4. And it's still fairly close. I mean, Fnatic, as we know, can certainly pull out the stops on the T side on Tuscan. And let's keep your eye out on how aggressive Fnatic are going to be now. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the interesting part. Whether they're going to... Uh, Looks like they might be going to push some people down that second mid part. I 
Well, Diaz Henning Khan have done this a good few rounds in his first half. Get right is moving down the sewers area. So now they kind of switch things up, and they're the ones getting aggressive on mouse spots here. Get right is going to go all the way around and try and get behind them if he can. And this is going to be dangerous for Tixar. I wonder if mouse spots pop that for no reason, like some teams do. That's a bad habit to get into, so we'll see. Oh, Tixo, he pops it himself with the Glock. This is going to be very dangerous. Oh, and there is Get Right underneath. And what a time like... not to pop that up. And... He was just like, yeah, okay. Gifted that kill, Easy. essentially. There is Capio losing out to Threat. Forrest will be out aimed by God B, but here is Threat. Here comes the smoke. Yeah, the smoke's going to be important for Threat to uh, kind of beat through. Oh, Will Roman seemed to his left. Oh, that was well played there by Threat, actually. When he saw the flash come out, walk through it. And of course, Get Right has only just come out of those doors. And he still gets the kill. It's now all on six, 1v3. Six did get the uh, kill, of course, onto Get Right, but wasn't able to find any more. That's five for Fnatic. Final round of the first half. And if Fnatic can manage to win this round, this will be big. Six rounds after the kind of trouble they were in. And when you consider how good they can be on pistol rounds. Here's I mean, that offensive start again. They win the sixth round, they win the pistol round. All of a sudden, it's almost a tie game. Ooh. DSN will go back now. His teammate Khan is dead. Get right right's on this bridge. He's pushing into B. Well, they push around, they won't. They're not going to push DSN here, but there were some kills exchanged. Capio's in the A site at the moment. Looking to flank someone. If he goes through this house, this will be very interesting. Capio will find DSN. That could be the icebreaker here. But he got headshot as he was doing it there. Mass sports coming in, and they're going to try and overpower this A site. Forrester alt middle. Get right. Is in the uh, middle there by uh, the window area. Will peek out. But obviously the uh, smokes are down. The bomb is planted. Of course, it's the final round. Forrest can get right. has got a very well deep position it. here. He's right back in storage area one. He's not going to peek. He's going to use his low health and not peek until the very end when they have to try and defuse. Get right still moving in. It's all on get right and Roman will take it. And that is a 10-5 first half scoreline. And Mouse Sports, I don't know, they're in the driving seat now as far as if they can win pistol. Six They're out looking of 15. at 13. Six out of 15. But and for all their problems, this is well. almost a dream situation for Mouse Sports here. Third map, all you need is six rounds out of 15. Come in, the boys. And this Probably pistol round, that. especially. For Mouse Sports, they can afford to lose this pistol round. Fnatic, definitely not. I think Fnatic's best way to beat Mouse Sports now is to going to be playing slow as well. Yeah. I mean, they have to kind of dra try and drag it out as much as possible. They've lost Get Right already. That is bad, bad news, and they're going to back away. I mean, we've seen on CT sides, Mouse are at their best when you're rushing in, and they just have to uh, produce kind of crazy individual skill moments. When you go slow over and over, sometimes they'll make bad decisions. Forest already uh, Let's see if Roman will hold this bridge position here where they're going to push. God B's had one. Here comes the aggression from God B. With this his is second. an unusual position to hold for. Where is DSN? He's here firing away. He's run out of ammo. Will they push him down? DSN hopping in. And God B will take it. That was four frags from God B. <laughs> Mouse sports, you could say maybe a bit happy with that one. Not sure, actually. Certainly uh, Genghis will be happy there. God B, as we've seen in previous games, when he's going big, Mouse Sports are generally in uh, in tow as well. And Fnatic about to start 2010 the wrong way. Let's not call, count the Swedes out. Deagles from Fnatic here. And they're going to wait for Mouse Sports to push. Not sure that Mouse are though, you know, second round. Why?
Dixon waiting with a grenade. Down Banana. Still waiting with a grenade down Banana. If Mouse Sports can just somehow stop this bomb being planted, this will be huge. Here we go. Tixo Push is going banana. Keep your eye on Tixo here. How defensive will he be? He sat back and actually they've got two frags early on here, Fnatic. This could be very dangerous for Mouse Sports as Forrest comes in as well. Bomb is planted. Two on four. Got B and Six have now got a huge task. Got B gets threat. Got oh, B look gets at this. Forest. Got B will be shot down by Get Ryan. That's really, really bad news. As Six is now and he has no kit 28 either. HP. So he's, he has no plan on going for it, it looks like. No kit. Oh, he's got that one man out there. That was Get Ryan. Get Ryan will take him with a Deagle. And Fnatic turn this match on its head with a second round victory, forcing Mouseports back to a, uh, an eco situation and giving them all the money to start their comeback. And Mouseports had a number of Colts in that round. Could that be Mouse Sports losing their focus, over celebrating? Let's see if Fnatic take it equally as slow. Oh, full stack on the A site here by Mouse Sports, but will they peak? If they stay hidden, then uh, this will be very interesting to see whether Fnatic are going to go slow and try and check every angle or whether they're going to finally decide to push in the site. There is going to be a peak. Forest is the one that should be able to take it here. And Forest will open up. Threat is there with him. And Forest is joined by Get Right. They did lose Threat in all that. Well, it was pretty successful. The uh, initial grenade from Forest actually pretty much half wiping out Mouse Sports. That is 11 7. Getting closer. Mass sports will kick themselves now if they lose this match. Really will. And we're going to see them eco through the sewer here. This could be a good move. The only problem is that threat is behind the sewer area. So even if they pop out, he's going to have a good shot at them. In fact, all the Fnatic players are. Yeah, they're waiting there in top sewers, so... Got B. Uh, sorry, Capio is the uh, one to have pushed down furthest. Got Fnatic here, as you can see. This is a final. They're not going to uh, make any rash decisions. They're going to stay slow and calculated. Keep Mouse at arm's length. And they've correctly figured out. You see, this is one of the problems. Mouse sports are doing a smart thing by not showing, but because they show every round at the A site, it means that when they don't, the fact that they're not doing it is what's suspicious. And Fnatic have figured this out and they've gone to B. Yeah, and bomb planted now and ticking away in mouse spots. Have a job to get anywhere near the site, never mind get a defuse in. Two of them around that middle area. Let's watch here. As uh, I think, who was it there? Forest. Gonna have a bit of a peek as well as get right. Here is Forest. We'll just spray the walls. Get right was there as well. Deagle to finish. Another easy round from Fnatic. And again, just keeping it slow. 11 8, Mouse Sports still leading though. And now, of course, they have money back in the bank and will once again have weapons in hand to try and right their wrongs in this uh, second half. Of course, they won pistol, then lost second. In this round's where we're going to see what this new Fnatic team is made of. If they can take this round, it's going to give them the confidence that they can push on and get this victory. Oh, look at these kills from Roman. Oh, he hits him, but then he gets killed. Oh, Capio and Tixo really uh, starting to shine here over by that A site. Tixo, Tixo showing some offing here. Now Spot's not afraid to mix it up here. And Capio's going to stay over at that site. Yeah, Threat's going to try and join Get Right as fast as possible now. The bomb is How aggressive threat. will Get Right get here? Here we go. Threat Capio into the site. Capio at the wrong site entirely. Six in a really bad position, pushed up middle. Not sure what Mouse Sports were really trying to do there. 
the time had gotten quite low. Maybe just a momentary lapse in the train of their thought. Good what bit of crossfire. Like so. Now they need to go fast. There. They know where he is. Yeah, I'm wow. going to say they know where Get Right was. That Tixo was. I'm not uh, even sure you can fault Fnatic there. That was just great play by Tixo. I think he had three orb kills there, and well, nobody was expecting him to have an orb in that site. I don't know. For me, Mouseport should have had one man over at least at mid there to help that cover, and that man probably should have been Tixo. To be fair. Six had already, uh, or maybe Six who pushed down that alt middle area, but either way, Mouse are going to win it. And that will bring them up to 12. They're four away from the uh, $25,000. And obviously, more importantly, the uh, gold shiny shield on our desk. Oh, and Khan is sneaking through the sewers with DSM. So keep your eye on. Um, let's see. Six. Keep your eye on six and let's see whether he gets surprised or not. Because he's not looking whatsoever towards that sewers. But Gobby is. And Gobby has a grenade, I think, prime. Six's position will catch Fnatic out here. DSN was the one that wasn't blind, unlike us. As DSN now starts to move in. Get the smokes. Oh, look at that headshot. Immediately dinked him. I have to get the smokes down here quickly, Fnatic. Capio dinked someone there. Hmm, they've planted without smoke. Interesting. That will uh, probably force the mouse Forest sports is players away. Be near Tixol's position, I think. Ah, okay. Mouse sports are going to save. Yeah, that smoke going down without smoke obviously uh, made it harder for uh, for mouse sports then to retake the site. So uh, good decision. Here is Tixo on to get right. Uh, sorry, Capio. Still holding nicely here and. Obviously looking to take those weapons through. Where's Tixo with his AWP? Let's oh, see if they the swap side. Tixo over to someone like mid or watching the uh, kitty area. Because you have to figure if they're going to keep him in B, Fnatic are going to hit A again. 12 to 9. Fnatic still clawing back in this one. The second half score is 4-2. Roman's on 0 and 5. And we saw how you know, nicely mass sports have played. In, Tixo uh, just dropped someone on Deagle there. Yeah. Yeah, and now six. he's going to go B again, it looks like. But let's see what decision Fnatic make. Do they preempt that they're going to sw swap him? Khan is sneaking through the sewers with DSN again, so it's going to be the same attack, it looks like. And six is in the same spot. But this time, of course, Gobby cannot protect his six. Oh, that was a peek by Capio that didn't work out whatsoever. Forrest was just waiting for the first man to do that. Here comes Threat in the site. Khan there will be joining him. Threat completely blind, but who cares when you've got teammates backing you up like that. And again, plant without smoke. And here comes Tixo. He's going to be forced again to save oh, his gun. He's got two. Finally, they've worked with him. Yeah, and Tixo will have to uh, try and save against three. Tixo's problem is here, he keeps saving this gun, but he's not having any impact with it right now. <laughs> well, at least he's taken Forrest down. That's always a good thing. Shame the bomb's going to go off anyway. Look, get right, might kill him if he gets around here. Like one second more. Oh, and Tixo's out there with the USB. Yeah. Get right. Down to half, can't, but that's a situation he can't afford to lose the op in there. Yeah, not worth it. Get right, 17 to three here. Roman zero kills in this half. Yeah, and despite that, his team is four rounds away from winning this title. What happens if Roman would have been on song? There's a big question. Five two, the second half scoreline. Of course, 12 to 10 overall. Eco for mouse sports. And the guys in B here for mouse are going to play the. They're going to have three in B, four in B for mouse. USPs. I think there's five even in there. I think one had a look down banana. Yeah, they're all there. Well, Fnatic again. Fnatic are in a. Going to the right site every single time. So yeah. far, every single round where. Mouse sports haven't had um, rifles. They've literally gotten nowhere near even a chance at winning the round. This is just veteran players being called here by Fnatic. 
Yeah, and I'm going to stick with Get Right here because he's one that's uh, really in front of them. Actually, Forrest was behind them, which proved to be more effective in the end. And Fnatic will bring us back to a one-point difference. 12-11. And all of a sudden, I get the feeling that the advantage actually shifts over to Mouse um, Fnatic here because they're the terrorists. They can dictate the play. They can decide where the battles are going to take place at what yeah. time in the round. And when you're talking about some of the biggest winners in CS history here, these guys know how to get it done when you need to get rounds. Here goes a two-man push Six again, under again is going to be pushed from behind at some point here. Now, how will God B help him out? Aggressive, actually, on the defense here for once. For Tixo with an AWP, Capio's M4 down alt mid, and they decide that's clear, so maybe Can the and push... DSN still working their way up. Yeah, that's probably given them the idea that this push is coming A-side. Oh, but Roman is over near that door now. It's Khan and DSN. Let's see what Roman can do. Oh, he's going to look away just the wrong time, is he? No. Nope. Oh, he's going to hide behind this wall. Not quite ready to push. Here they go. First man out is Khan. Gets the first kill. Roman was there behind the box. Roman oh, finally dead. time to have that grenade out there. Now it's two on two. Two on one, and Tixo has got that AWP again. This time, Fnatic can So they're both over that side, and you can see them by the flashes. He's got them locked in in that one position. But they do have time to go through that sewers if they go quickly. They know his position now, and get right, will peek out. And I think Tixo was uh, a little bit closer to them in the smoke than he was kind of anticipating there. And that will bring us to a tied game then, 12-12 in the third map, all down to these last six rounds. And this is big time offensive play here. I mean, Fnatic managed to attack A there, even though I think Mouse Sports had four players over in that area. And they had them watching all the positions that you could come in, and they still managed to execute. And Tixo really needs to decide what he's going to do from now on. I think Fnatic are playing a great Mouse Sports game here. The speed they're playing is, you know, <laughs> that's the way that Mouse Sports are playing. And I think Mouse, despite that, don't seem to be able to find an answer. Maybe they now realize... It's so tough when you're a CT to keep changing the kind of pace that yeah. you're playing at. Because you want to just play in one pace. Like, you want to play slower, you want to play quickly and attack them, etc. Whereas terrorists are used to having to switch and go to different sites. It's just kind of a part of the natural rhythm of the game. That will let Mouseports know how hard it is, actually, to, uh, you know, defend against their attacks on certain maps as well. Here's Get Right's first kill onto six. Forrest is going to edge into that B site. Oh, I and think Mouse there are one or just two. Switch back over the way. There's Forrest. High sends checking around. Bomb's going to be planted. And this is another round where Mouse Spots don't even have a chance really at this round. I mean, they're going to have to run just to get exit kills here. Who's the man to uh, mop up the frags? Probably DSM. It's obviously difficult to win eco rounds, but I mean, when you have five or six, you can at least get one round, you would hope, where you'd have a chance of winning it. Good grenades here. DSN's first was absolutely cracking. Only Roman was able to get the frag, and Fnatic will overtake Mouseports and put themselves three away from the number one spot. Another number one title maybe here for Fnatic. And suddenly, this is all to do for Mouse Sports. They have to win four rounds out of the next six and a CT. So we're going to need some incredible play again from some of their CT players. Meanwhile, for Fnatic, you don't go crazy. You don't lose your head. You don't rush. Just keep playing the way you're playing at the moment, and the rounds will come. I think it's Mouse Sports who might actually end up going a bit more offensive. Mouse Sports are sensing kind of a little bit of desperation now. They've tried to play it a little bit too coy, and it hasn't worked out for them whatsoever. God, be my. And they've push swapped here. Tixor's position here. That is one thing that's interesting at the moment. They've got Capio pushing down middle here. With God B as well. This is. Nice double push. And but if they keep pushing, they're going to be right behind the Fnatic players in time to get some kills here. Here we go. Godby and Capio both chiming in. DSN and Khan and Threat will chime in. 2v2. Oh, well, this could be bad news. It's Fnatic who uh, could have the bad news brought to them because they're uh, lower health here. DSN's having oh, to rotate around to Threat's if position. If Six looks away now, this could be over. But if he stays looking in this position, 
This could completely destroy the Fnatic attack. But Threat is going through the sewers. And they've lost DSN. This is surely too much for Threat. Oh, and he could be in a terrible position here. Yeah, if he kills Six. Six has a really good shot to do it. Ah, oh, and Six will take him there. What a huge round, huge round. Six will take that frag, yeah, a huge round indeed, 13-13. And that's the first one in, well, I lost count, I think, at one point there. And as you said, it was a Mouse Sports going aggressive, and the one time Fnatic left kind of a hole in their attack, and even though he didn't kill them all, he did so much damage and just completely disrupted the attack. Yeah. Let's see if Fnatic can bounce back. And his six, six is going to go down the sewers here. Let's see if he can get a good position and hold it. Next frag actually forces a, uh, a hard situation on the other oh, team. Oh, aggressive pushing on second mid area here. Yeah, next round forces a hard situation on the other team because they know that they have to win the remaining then to uh, stay in here without relying on overtime. There this goes could, the bomb plan. This could very well be an overtime game the way this is going at the moment. Save for Mouse Sports. So this is a huge decision for Mouse Sports. I is this going to cost them their tournament here? It's a risk, that's the point. You don't get anywhere without the risk. And they know that if they uh, go for this, lose things out, money's going to be screwed for next round. But if they keep three weapons, and uh, they can then rely maybe on this 14th round to, uh, right, then they have to win it. everything. Get right and get even one kill here. This could be a huge kind of momentum shift. They know where they are now. Get right, it's going to have a peek out. Oh. God B was there. And that was well played, at least by Mouse Sports, to keep a hold at the end. But Fnatic will move within two from victory. And Mouse Sports have to win every single round in a row now to win this without an overtime. It's not a good sign that Six just threw a deagle on the ground for someone. Yeah, those players that didn't save will be deagles. Now Fnatic are going to do the smart thing, it looks like, and try and hit the B site because of the way that Mouse have overloaded A. On the other rounds, that is. It's a, uh, interesting strat called here from Fnatic. Two of them, uh, or now one of them, pushing up alt mid. I think something else that's key for Mouse is if you're a Deagle player, do not fire your Deagle until you absolutely have to. Don't give away that the fact that you're holding that position with that yeah. gun. Because at the moment, Fnatic might think that those two, those three players bought two guns for the others. That was DSN at middle, by the way, that went down. Roman is there, and that is firing it when you absolutely need to. They've got to deal with Roman here. Oh, he's got two. I can't believe this. Khan he's won't kill alive. him either. Yeah, Khan's ran straight past him there. Tixo will come in from behind. And oh, it's all right. on Look Get Right. This. He's got two, but he's still got two, plus a very, very hurt Roman. This could be 14-14. Hold your breath, guys. Let's see what Get Right can do here. Oh, Six is running as well. He might have stopped just in time there. Get right still. Oh, this is going to be an absolute battle. Not knowing where these remaining players are. These flashbangs are huge. The way they're going to hold him off. There comes the flash to the outer area. Get right now. Running the clock down. Probably Roman's more got than a really good position here. Of course, the uh, bomb is down inside. Keep of the that eye on B Roman's side. position. Get right has to move in, and Tixo was around the box. Wow. Roman behind ladder as well, and they had that on lockdown. The bomb was down in there, and Get right not able to do anything. That is 14 14. Two rounds to go. Can still go either way. Either team can win. We can still have an overtime. This is what we like to see. Incredible Third and final stuff match. by Roman there. Even. It took it took two great kills from Get Right to even give them a chance there. But Roman with those two Deagle headshots. I mean, if he doesn't hit those, then you combine Get Right's flank kills. I mean, it's all over for Mouse at that point. Score in the second half is nine four. Roman wants to get aggressive here. He doesn't want to let them just push up that second area. This is interesting. Oh, D D DSN, here. yeah, moving up this middle area could be huge for Fnatic if they're able to split this site in half. They've caught Capio from behind. Wasn't expecting that oh, here whatsoever. Comes Roman behind them, here is Godby as well. Roman behind them. Here is Roman. He's got himself one. Godby with a second. In comes Tixo. It's now all on Forest. Moving up middle. He killed Tixo. Oh, they've got the bomb though. Three v one. They've got the bomb. How yeah. will they hold this? And Forest is going Kitty. That's the crucial point. That bomb is down. He needs to there strafe and hit all these shots perfectly. There comes the uh, smoke just to distract Forrest. He's still got 50 seconds to work, but those three players are going to be surrounding that bomb. And if any player ever had the movement to do this, it's Forrest. 
Let's see, he's seen a weapon there. Oh, look at this. But he's not going to go for the well, shot. This shot is such a smart play by Forrest. As he moves in, gets the one. Six will take it, and Mouse Sports move up to match point. Championship point. $25,000 point, actually, as well. And, uh, of course, it is also the final round of the game as well. The 30th round here on Tuscan. And all of a sudden, Fnatic know they have to win. They cannot lose this round. Meanwhile, Mouse Sports, they can afford to take a risk if they want. They can try and ensure the victory instead of going to overtime by taking a risk. Six is going to sneak down the sewers again. Is he going to go quickly, though? He is. He's, he's crouch running all the way down. Oh, oh Khan's Khan taken a huge hit, but got the kill onto six. Capio returns fire. Four versus four. Forrest and Godbeyond, roughly equal health here as well. So, so far, it's all oh, level. What a Capio, by Capio with the FAMAS. Onto DSM. This is worrying times for Fnatic. Get right's going to take middle. Is this the end of Fnatic's in Intel Extreme Masters Championship Season 4? Two of them are middle. They're going to come here for Kitty, which is probably the uh, wrong answer. Godby actually just turning away here from that flash. Are they going to follow it in, Fnatic? Oh. Not just yet. Capio has a great position here to crossfire with his teammate. And I've got to be waiting. Get right takes the one. Got to be watching for the boost up. He will spray down one, looking for more. Got to be takes two. There's his deagle, but where's the Here final man? The middle. They don't Forrest know where the final man is. Forrest is in middle. And he's just holding at the moment. But he's 3v1, and he must win this round for Fnatic to stay alive. The problem is Forrest is in... 30 seconds. Not great health, and of course, this is 30 seconds. The bomb is down over by that A site. Forest here is the only thing that stands between Mouse Sports and the championship, and Roman will get the flag. And Mouse Sports are going to take it on the third map here 16, on Tuscan. 14. Absolutely brilliant match. And of course, it will be Mouse Sports to pick up their first ever title with Roman. And uh, the first day was a struggle in the group stage. They got stronger and stronger until today. They beat the team of 2009 and the team of the tournament before this match as well. And uh, to obviously collect $25,000 plus a shield. But more importantly, I think for them is that first title with Roman to prove everyone that he was a great signing. And what a satisfying way to win as well. I mean, through all the troubles they've had, they literally beat the best team in the world in a match which showed that they had every bit as much as skill, tactical understanding, team play. I mean, they basically, they matched Fnatic everywhere they needed to. Incredible victory. And you can see the uh, handshakes and probably no one has disappointed with that and threat, you know. It's what a painful this feeling this for his, him. This is his first official event for Fnatic. Of course, he won uh, WEM with them, but this is uh, an event that you would have really been, I guess, looking forward to winning in a way. You can see there that we have Carmack about to uh, open up with Six, who uh, is obviously uh, pretty interested and very happy to have won that one. Carmack, what's going on down there? We've got Six here, freshly after the victory. How do you feel? Tell me. Um, it's a great feeling. I mean, we won the one of the best tournaments 2010. Uh, the competition was great. We had the best teams in the tournament and uh, tough, tough final. As you can see, it was quite a tough match at Tuscan. A lot of one-on-ones, two-on-twos, three-on-threes, uh, deciding rounds. They got some, we got some, so <sighs> very, very tough match. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, quite disappointed of myself, but uh, my mates, I'm uh, more, pr more proud of my mates. Yeah. So, uh, who was the man of the match for you? Um, I think man of the match and man of the tournament was Gopi. Of course, he let us lead us to the win, and uh, he also shoot very well, very well. And um, yeah, Gopi is for me the best player of the world. He's the best player in the world. Of course, he is. I mean, where you have uh, tactical leaders like Av, he can call strats very well, like Gop. But he doesn't shoot like Gop. You have Karn, he can shoot very well, but he cannot uh, call good strats like Gop. So he's the complete player and yeah, the best player in the world. So you come into the Intellectual Masters World Championship at CBIT as the European champions with the Golden Plata. What can we expect from you at the World Championship? Are you going to be the number one favorites there? 
Um, I think uh, there are a lot of teams who can, uh, which can win, like uh, SK, Fnatic, MTW. It depends on the motivation, on the practice, and but I think we are the top three, the top five uh, favorites with SK, Fnatic, and MTW. And uh, yeah, let's hope we will see some good games at CBIT and we will prepare very well. Okay, now tell me, does Gobbi speak any English? So we maybe. He does. Uh, not that good, but he does. Okay, let's try and go get go B. Fati, Fati, come here, bitte. Come here, bitte. Sprichst du Englisch? Bisschen, a little bit. A little bit. Tell me how you feel now. I don't know what. I can't uh, explain my emotions right now. I'm so proud of, on my um, on my team, on my players. I don't know. Uh, Six here says that you are the best player in the world. What do you have to say to that? Uh, I have to say he's the best player in the world. So what was and Roman? What was the key to success? What 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 was the one thing that gave you the victory? The team spirit. That that's that was it. Uh, I don't know. We always believe to win this game, to win that game, and uh, I don't know against SK. All these tough matches was uh, we win because our team spirit. You have many thousands of fans watching, German, English, from all around the world. What do you have to say to them? Thanks for every everything. We are all, uh, proud to to win this event and proud of our fans of everything. All right, well, we're going to have the decoration ceremony uh, right after this commercial break. So stay tuned to see the champions of the Intellectual Masters European Championship decorated with a check for $25,000 and the golden platter, of course. Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. TV and of course we've just seen the final match up here with Mouse Sports winning in three maps and of course joining me is the uh, product manager of the Intel Extreme Masters Carmack. How was this tournament for you because for me it was long but it was damn worth it. I'm so happy I'm absolutely thrilled we've had a great final either team could have won this I believe the people online should be very very happy with uh, what you guys have delivered to us great amounts of entertainment so uh, 
I'm going to have to be a corporate man and thank uh, our sponsors, Intel and Alienware, for making this tournament possible, for sponsoring uh, the prize money and uh, letting us uh, buy that uh, golden shield or the platter, if you will. And uh, without further ado, uh, let's get to the awarding. Yeah, let's do that. And of course, in third place, a team that I think surprised everyone here. They came from Denmark, they finished second in the online stage, and then they came here the first day, beat teams that, well, people weren't expecting them to be, and then they beat SK today for the third place. It's, of course, Ross Kilda Ravens. So, Snappy, did you expect to take home that third place check and $5,000? Uh, uh, not before the event, but uh, after we played the group stage, we thought we could uh, reach uh, quite, a w quite a while. Uh, after the win uh, against Oxmos, we knew Fnatic would be almost impossible to beat. Um, we, had, we knew that uh, we had a chance against SK and we showed that today. Uh, and we think it's a, it's a good event for us. Do you think we'll be seeing you at the global finals finishing so highly? Is that your aim, to come in there and take top three again? Uh, of course we hope that we can do it, but uh, it's probably going to be even tougher than now because people will probably see more demos of us. At this event we came as unknowners and uh, had a bigger chance to surprise, so it's probably going to be harder at the next event. Well, congratulations again in third place, winning $5,000. It's, of course, the Ross Kilda Ravens. And in second place, we uh, just saw them losing probably one of the best finals we've seen in a long time. Three maps, of course, coming down to a 16-14 finish. This team, unfortunately, finish on the wrong side of that. It's, of course, Fnatic. So get right, this is you know, your first tournament of 2010. How are you feeling after that? Because obviously you were the team of 2009. Was this the event that you really wanted to win to kick the year off? Uh, not really. I mean, we came in here with like little practice and everything. So it wasn't really a disappointment, at least for me right now. But I think we played really bad in the end there. I mean, we should have won that game on Tuscan. So. How do you feel with Threat in the lineup? Obviously, uh, he's coming there at WEM, which is an event that you, of course, won, and then coming here with the second place. I mean, does, does it only get better here for Fnatic? No, we should just straight forward, and we will probably win the rest of the tournament this year. I think we got a good feeling now with Threat, so I think this will be our year. So you think 2010 is going to be more first places than uh, 2009? We're going to at least win WCG. That's the aim. So uh, again, winning $10,000 and finishing in second place here is, of course, Fnatic. And that brings us on to the winners, a team that have come in here with a new player and a player that's, you know, considered maybe one of the best in Germany. And a lot of people are excited to see this, uh, this new lineup in action. It is, of course, Mouse Sports. Oh, and we get the gold platter as well. Yeah. The highlight. <laughs> so, are you happy? 
a new lineup, well, a new player, let's say, in the lineup. And, you know, you've watched your guys throughout the years. Are you happy now? Is this one of the highlights of your uh, position in Mouse Sports? Yes, of course. We won the uh, European finals. It's a great honor. We won against uh, the best team in the world right now, Fnatic. Uh, so we. I'm extremely happy right now. It was a close match. It could have gone both ways, but we won, and I'm really happy right now. Cengiz mentioned earlier that the team are a lot happier now, actually. Do you think that's one of the big factors? Well, I think chemistry is always a big factor in a team. Uh, you can have the five best players in the world, but if they don't like each other, you can't win anything. So uh, this team right now, uh, it's great, just a great feeling to be with those guys. And I think everybody saw how good we can play in this lineup. And I hope we can uh, compete like this every time. Well, that is, of course, it. And Mouse Sports, the champions here, winning $25,000. And uh, I have to get Carmack over here for a quick second because I know he wants to say some things before we uh, leave. Carmack, we've got, I think, about 45 seconds. Say your piece. Well, I have nothing to say. I don't know why you called me here. I've said everything to say. I had to say. Absolutely delighted to see the smiles on these guys' faces. Uh, absolutely delighted uh, that they are enjoying holding the plata. What can I say? Thank you guys for watching. It's been a wonderful evening. Uh, I give the mic back to you because I absolutely have nothing to say. Okay, you did tell me that before. But anyway, next weekend, well, this is not it from the European Championship Finals. Next weekend, of course, we're going to move in to Quake Live, which will be taking place here in Cologne as well from the ESL TV studio. 16 of the, uh, well, European's best players, or Europe's best players, will be fighting, obviously, for the places of the global finals in CBIT. We'll see you then, and thanks for watching. He does the job that he needs to do, get that fight on the edge. Absolutely brilliant. We just witnessed the greatest moment in WoW's history as an eSport. It was absolutely incredible. Overcome the biggest team to win the Intel Extreme Master!